Yo, what the fuck's going on? It's your boy Shinobi Gaines. I'm the fine one of the squad. This is uh, aim for the bushes. The dirtiest nigga of the squad. <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, got, I, I, I got to call yourself the finest. This bitch looking like a motherfucking dirty. It's clear. We can take a poll. I'm the, I'm the finest in the squad. But look, look, check it out. Check it out. Just because you like it. It's aim for the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> it's aim for the bushes. We're talking our shit, giving you our spin, talking our movies. We got the boy Taurus in the building. You know what I'm saying? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Matt the problem. What up? We got Moan in the building. What up, man? Depends we got Moan in the building. Matt, is he a problem? I don't, I don't know. Depends yeah. on who we're talking he about. He's a problem on the mic. I, I give him that. Mm. Okay. You know man, you be out here beating niggas up? Okay. Uh, nah, I don't really be doing that, nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I hurt somebody's feelings first. If I have to, uh, I will. You anyways, you we, come in, uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. It's our fifth official episode. Catch us on YouTube. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, add, ding, whatever the whatever you supposed to that. Shit. Y'all know what to do. And Matt, where are we at? Uh, what's the where, where are they catching us on uh, the audio? Man, I don't got the list in front of me. Literally all anywhere you can right, say literally platforms. anywhere you can find a podcast. Y'all know what this shit Other than like iHeartRadio, like a few to make it easy. Uh, Anchor, uh, Google Podcasts, um, mm. Apple Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. Uh, we air. I gotta look at yeah. We I mean, it's, it's, it's everywhere. Okay. All We're right. on like eight different platforms. Aim for the bushes. I think we had finally a thousand views too. Okay. All together. Hit a little milestone, thousand views. Um, coming for more. Keep building. Tell your friends. You know, we this is a this is we just we just building a culture and we, you know, y'all be a part of the ride. You just know talking shit on camera. Talking shit on camera with the bros. Help me make a living off that, y'all. No, I'm just playing. Dirty Dave. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Anyways, you know where we coming from? Straight out of Minneapolis. A crazy motherfucking name, Shinobi. No, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> no, we coming straight out of Minneapolis, the pretty, the prestigious, Petite. trend setting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mm. Home of Purple Rain, mm. you know, Prince, mm. Mall of America, Bob Dylan. Fuck that shit. Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, Mighty Duck. The motherfucking toaster. The toaster was here. Scotch tape. The toaster, scotch tape. Pacemaker. <laughs> Pacemaker was here. You know what I'm saying? We made that here. Target, Best shit Buy. In the world. Cohen Brothers. You know what I'm saying? Jingle Ooh. all the way. George Dairy Floyd. Queen. Don't forget about Dairy Dairy Queen. Queen. Is that us? Y'all niggas ain't know? No. Damn. Dairy fucking. Oh, you did your research, huh? Hey man. I think you I think you might be right. I think that kind of rings a bell now. That's a fucking fact. That's big wow. time. I, for I hope that's for your sake, I hope that's true and you're not just on <laughs> <your> <laughs> Spitting crazy shit. For most recently, we got trying the, to get some mic time. We got the professional team with the lowest winning percentage in sports history. Timberwolves. So we, we made we it. That, that's not what we're doing. Coming. This that, we're not doing that for this right now. We're, <laughs> we're bigging up. We're bigging up shit right now. I don't know what the. Anyways, uh, hey, it's fifth official history. podcast. How are we feeling, man? What's go, what's going on, Mo? How you, how's your uh, week? How's your week? My week was it was it was it was it was some bullshit. But you know, <laughs> it, it's past me now. You know, and um, what you had to deal with some female shit. Had to deal with some, yeah, some, yeah. I don't want to. Can't elaborate. Nah, it's not worth it. And DMs I'll, finally I, hit you back. Yeah. I'll let you be. No, I'll let, no, no. let her be. He yes. might get in trouble. So get a bit we don't have to uh, censor certain episodes and shit. <laughs> yeah. It was a whole episode, but Mon didn't even po- promote because he was gonna have to deal with some shit. So we will just let him be. Uh, is, what's yes. going on with you, Matt? Oh man! Came in here smelling fresh today. Yeah, you know, had to smell good for the homies. That, that's the first, though. I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, yeah. Continue. Uh, man, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just I didn't get a whole lot done. Same old shit, just, just regular. Day. Yeah, just every day is working. You know. I feel you. Yeah, we just grinding, trying to get through these times, man. These Talk weird that. ass times type shit. So mm. no, no, nothing notable. Nah, I really, got, I, I got my son a new Xbox. <coughs> the, the new new Xbox, the new new one, yeah. He fucking with it. Yeah, he, he likes it. He just got he just got it yesterday. How did we get that? How did I get it? Is yeah. it finally available? I got some dude from Twitter that kind of lets us me know when uh mm. they when they uh, yeah plug. when they uh, you didn't pay full price for that motherfucker either. Mm. I paid full price, yeah. Well, I ain't pay. I ain't pay well, full price on top nigga. of some shit. Uh, <laughs> 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 nah, he, he's a he's a writer, so he ain't like he got plugs like that. Let's actually be getting that PS5 next time, though. I asked him which one he wanted. He said he liked the Xbox controller better, and the I, Xbox I was a little easier to get. Like kids like the Xbox more. Adults are on the PlayStation vibe. 
Yeah, I don't know what Why, this. Though. This has always. I feel been. like the PlayStation is more reliable, but I like the Xbox controller better. What's his biggest? Why do you like the controller better though? It's like something bigger I, in his hands. It, yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> I like the placement of the analog sticks. Wow. You like that whole giant objects. <laughs> What's going on with you, Taurus? <laughs> Man, I'm just chilling. You know, all I do is aim, aim for the bushes and uh, shit. Mm. What, what happened for, for, with you this week? Man, the same old shit. Man, I just be out here aiming. Bush aiming. What is shit. this nigga? Is this like politically correct answers? What's going on with you? <laughs> God damn. Nothing going on. Can't even, can't chilling, even have conversations with niggas what you now. What want from me, my nigga? I'm just chilling. All I well, do let's is just chill. do this. This is what I That's wanted it. to I wanted to do something a little different. Well, first, let's talk about me because, you know, I like to talk about myself. Uh, yeah, talk about yourself, nigga. Trained, fuck us. trained hard. You know what I'm saying? No, don't fuck us. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That was crazy. Are sick. All you niggas are sick. That was crazy. Disgusting, man. I, uh, <laughs> I trained hard this week. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fight coming up on Saturday. This week, right? Yeah. Ready to put some work in. Peeped you out. Feeling confident. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like I'm going to do my thing, you know? And, and maybe this could lead to something. I don't know. <laughs> this could possibly Let's lead to something. Let's get it cracking, man. Just to something. Other than that. We believe uh, in you. Oh, that, that makes my heart melt, bro. But uh, but uh, what I was gonna say is, aside from that, what I wanted to talk about was, did anybody buy anything this week? As far as just what? random, just anything. Did you buy anything? Nah. You didn't buy nothing. <laughs> nah. <laughs> See, nah. Did you buy anything? I bought. I bought uh, some food. What the fuck you want from I me? I bought a T-shirt, <laughs> nigga. I bought some. Uh, <coughs> I bought the comfy, the little old man comfy socks. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I like to wear oh, these comfy damn, socks. Now, I don't man, know if that's like is going on if that you? means I'm getting old or what. You're but getting it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? It's not for you. It's, it's comfortable, for old nigga. It's comfortable, oh, on, bro. Man, no, I need regular, to switch up my sock game too, though. You know, socks, I, 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 I'm not. I'm falling. I'm falling out of love with the Hanes, man. I feel like they like get it's worn out too fast. What are we doing? So instead, you can go with the fucking and one socks. These are a Christmas present. One size. These are a Christmas <laughs> present. <laughs> from, from, uh, Where did you get those? From, it's, it's from my cousin's girl. <laughs> you can uh, do Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's <laughs> going on? Hey. I don't know how to find a pair of these. Don't look fresh. I'm, I'm gonna be real, KNG, bro. TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Some know. socks you just be wearing them, I and it feels like you damn near gotta change them, motherfuckers, midday. Oh. You know what I mean, like. I feel like that I don't know if it says we get growner or what but I, that's becoming a thing for me and it's a brand thing is it Hanes, Hanes it works is out trash, for me at work yeah, yeah I'm not a they big they do Hanes rip up a little bit you might have throw a couple hey, of man, them you can't go wrong with a Hanes t-shirt I just threw away like all my Hanes I socks I almost bought a pack I but I just stopped it up, bring it back. Hanes t-shirts are legendary <laughs> this is the first pair of these I've worn since, since no, I, I got them all one are years, those and one socks these are and one socks yeah oh wow and one's been around for a reason Right, y'all don't fuck with the mixtapes? I'm cool. I'm you, ain't, cool. you ain't buy nothing, Taurus? Uh, I don't remember. You ain't, I don't you ain't know. spend nothing on yourself this, this week? Not really. I'm just trying to chill. I ain't trying to be spending all this money and shit. <laughs> well, I, shit I go get the little groceries and I keep it, keep it moving, man. I feel you. I feel you. Know, you just want to just keep buying shit. Well, aside from that, we had the big fights this weekend. My boy Izzy lost. First fight, God damn, that sucked a little bit. I'm a little butt hurt about that. He lost. He didn't get his yeah, ass beat. It was kind of damn. a, it was a technical battle. He went up 20 pounds weight class. It was to, a boring ass fight. Let's be real. It was kind of. I was in it. You know, it was a technical battle, so I was in it. You know what I mean? I'm like I'm not into watching two dudes lay on top of each other for three minutes at a time. Eh, that happened in the last two rounds. Right. But uh, when was that? That was last night. He lost it Saturday night. You know what happens when they lose their first fight, right? They start losing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But he's so much better than everybody in the middleweight division. I almost felt like he had to go to the light heavyweight division mm -hmm. to fight because everybody else he done beat half the whole division. Damn near. It's only like two or three fighters he hasn't beat in the, in out of twenty fighters. Doesn't that suck? I don't know. It so sucks, we'll right? see what he does. You know, that's my guy. Uh, he's part of part of the part of the inspiration, <laughs> motivation. So. A little butt hurt, but nonetheless, good fights. Is uh, it John Jones next? I don't know if that fight's gonna happen anymore. Mm, because he, because John Jones moved up to heavyweight, he was a light heavyweight. 
he couldn't get past the champion at light heavyweight, I don't know if he's going to be able to. I think they're going to kill that, just dead that, and that let him do his thing. I would get him in the movies and just have him keep beating people at middleweight. Just say, fuck it. Maybe you know? he's just going to retire after this and start doing movies. I would. If I was him, I would just get in the movies, man. Pull but, up Ronda Rousey. But I got, you know. <laughs> what kind of movies would it be? He gotta do action. He's he's so gotta, fast and furious. I he be. He gotta be. He gotta do something. But I would like him to have a premier role because he's got he's got character. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They did my boy uh, Tony Ja. I don't know if y'all familiar with him. Tony Ja is one of the greatest ever. Ong Bak, little he brought Muay Thai yeah. into the into the he's mainstream. A beast. But uh, they never he never got it popping off on the American side with the movies. They they threw him in the Fast and Furious, but he I don't even think he spoke. He had that one movie with the elephant and shit. That, but those are his movies. Yeah, those were movies that that was, they were speaking in their language. It was popular though. It was popular here, but I'm saying like he didn't get into Hollywood. He wasn't able to break into Hollywood, right. you know. So and I mean, I, how many niggas are breaking into Hollywood doing karate anymore though? I think there's still a lane. Is there not still a lane for that? I feel like it's not like it used to be, especially for I don't even remember the last time I've seen like kung a fu good kung fu shit. karate type movie. I feel like Michael Jai MMA. White's just just almost this close to making a fucking crazy comeback. Like, yeah, a, you might be right. It's like I feel like they're it. calling for it. They're hungry for that next <coughs> like martial arts nigga to really be, run the scene. Now, all we all got is like muscle head weight pumping niggas like The Rock you know what I mean Vin Diesel. that's true just running shit still you, you know, know what I mean? you can't moves. even fight though you know what I mean like they're just, just running through walls fighting each other so. <laughs> jumping off buildings landing them straight on his feet <laughs> we'll see we'll see what the fuck is he doing did y'all uh, I know we missed the week before but did y'all see that uh that Oklahoma uh, bar f or bathroom fight between the college oh, football players. Oh, the college receiver? And they, I missed that. They uh, was I picking did, on some niggas, some little that. niggas yeah. in the bathroom, and they got their ass beat. <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> you want to pull it up, uh, Matt? <laughs> pull up <laughs> Oklahoma. Uh, was it Oklahoma University? I don't know how was I Was it Oklahoma? That. Just think type in Oklahoma. I think it was the wide receiver. Fight. Yeah, Oklahoma bathroom fight. It was a wide receiver from Oklahoma. I went too far. Um... They was it looked like they was yeah there it goes go, go back go back uh, yeah you got it you got it you d do your thing mm. right there <laughs> I don't know what this intro to this shit is but I think this is the same video I watched it's about to pull up what the what the hell is this video it's like some weird intro they got on their channel. See these niggas. The, the, the tall big, ones are receiver, right? Oklahoma football player nearly loses. An Look, eye. you see they pushed him. They <laughs> pushed him. Oh, the train. Wow. I, I didn't know dude was a Damn. trained MMA fighter. I didn't see that. Yeah, they didn't Damn. know. They thought they was just some little niggas, and they, they got the slam in their asses. He's oh he boy, fucking the, around. The other dude's about to get whooped. Look, <clears throat> watch this shit. Boy had to get out of there. He waited till he got out of there. Got him in the choke. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga desperate. Hey, he's doing the best he, he can. Tried. Man. He tried. Break his fucking arm. That's what you do. Look. Uh, bow. bow. Nigga Oof. done. Head off of both of the walls. Uh oh, he got mount. Okay. Mount. Ground and pound. Can't fuck with a nigga wearing sweatpants in the club, bro. Like, <laughs> man, <laughs> bad. that was crazy though. Fuck. Um, you can't fuck with. You can't. You just. It's now that UFC and all that shit's popping off. I feel like you just can't be fucking. Like you can't be assuming niggas is pussy. It's put. I mean, you got to do you. You know, but you just can't. You can't be underestimating you anybody no more. The, the, they thought you know they pop in athletes, Oklahoma, yeah. and slap up a couple niggas in the bathroom show. <laughs> did you see it? I don't know what happened Like he pushed him Or spit on him Or did something But the nigga was like He just fucking Teed yeah, off I don't his what he, he, Yeah I don't know what he did He touched yeah, him that's, that's How many views did they get already? It's, it's been, it was viral for a minute yeah, It's, it's, it's like a week a old though it's like I think a, it's even more than a week old To be honest with you I just want to see how many views he got It's probably like two weeks old Damn almost three Man, what what I can't read it from there. 300, 300, 300. Yeah, that, that's right? just one man. video. This is they've been talking yeah. about this shit everywhere. But that's why you gotta let you, these niggas be out here training, man. That's wait, wait. What are people that got their ass beat? The football players? Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> I wonder how the next football practice went. I, bro, you know they're getting clowned. <laughs> I, want, I think it's off season right now. Yeah, it's oh, it's, it's off season right now. Oh, so, uh, shit. Yeah, I don't even know if they would have been in a bar if it was a football season. Right. But yeah, you know they got clowned. You know the whole, mm. you know how that, them football players is, I'm going to be real, bro. Like, them college, them football players. Uh, clicks and shit I feel like they grimy people you know the basketball college athletes too they be I've been hearing crazy stories they be running hella trains on hoes doing all kind of weird pranks <laughs> on each other yeah, fucking fucking yeah, what's it called it hazing and shit you know what I'm saying like yeah, yeah, the hazing shit weirdo ass <coughs> initiation shit mm-hmm. fuck out of here nigga who stop doing all that extra shit yeah, no, nah, but uh, you, you you never know when a nigga's training. So like, <sighs> that's what that training. You think niggas in the house been doing all this time? Niggas been niggas training. watching MMA and motherfucking niggas been training. You just can't you push ups and shit. I got a whole new respect for it now that I'm in it. And you know what's crazy? Uh, this is kind of an off-brand question, but I wanted to br- kind of bring it up and talk about it. And it applies to us in some way or whatever. But I just thought of this because I started doing push-ups every day moan you've been doing your push-up we got like a little regimen ain't it crazy though like even like exercise is the easiest example you try to set a goal to do something like all right i'm gonna get up every morning i'm gonna do these push-ups push-ups ain't hard to you but you still get down there like oh i don't feel like doing this shit. <laughs> yeah i think it's, it's like, the, the what is that i think it's the thinking before actually doing it's it. like our mind is trained or programmed to talk us out of doing some shit we yeah. should be doing you uh, know? and that happens with a lot of different things a lot yeah, of things exactly. why, why do you think we're like that i think is our, our i think it's is it, a, is it an american thing testing us is that an american thing it's almost like we lazy and our mind just be like nah let's just not even do that <laughs> it's not like the default. It's just not even that's the default way. It's not and that's did. really. I think that's just sometimes we're not disciplined. It's I just, think uh, it taking the time. easy way out. It's definitely more people's minds are programmed to yeah. to to uh, go against positivity or anything like that creates progression. Then there are people that are their minds are programmed to be like, yes, we got this shit. We about I wouldn't to do say this program. Shit. Yeah. I, if a program is a, a is a strong word, but I, I don't like the word program for for for. Adults. I say program because I just don't like it. I say program because where else is it coming from? It's a choice. So m- majority of people are making this choice, and it, and then when I hear program, I just think like you're not thinking for yourself. That's how I look at it. I mean, that's kind of just the way we are, bro. No. Yeah. I and mean, there's you, not there's not really much you think. In your head on a daily basis that you weren't programmed to think. Ooh, oh shit, it's about Talk to get that real. Shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, you, you know. <laughs> no, because what that does is, first of all, it takes off accountability. Mm. That's what it's doing. So when we keep running around talking about, you know, your niggas is programmed and bamboozled and society did this, there's no accountability. It's your fault. I mean, when we see, when we see a group of people, grown, when we see a group of people, though, like, it, even if it is walking down the street with a program to think these niggas finna do something. So this is my thing. This is and Taurus is making a good point because even though I feel like I didn't choose to have that voice in my head, you know what I'm saying? Right. I, it's there, and and my choice is yeah. to be like, nah, fuck that shit. I'd be ignoring it, right? Mm-hmm. I'd be like, nah, I'm gonna, but it'd still be there, so it's annoying to me. Yeah. So we still have that choice to make, but the fact that the voice is there, I believe, has something to do with programming. That could be the case, but whatever the result what we is, feed it's, ourselves. it's on you. So uh, a lot of times, too many people was using that as an excuse to get out of shit. Oh, definitely. It's, it's not. Even oh, it shouldn't be an excuse. It's, it's I'm just annoying. saying. You, it's, it's just that's that's what that's what being raised by our parents is, bro. We we programmed to be the way we are. No. Yeah, think, like I, think, I feel like think, it may think be about an something American that's like, thing. like think about some if you feel like something's right or wrong, right? The only reason that something's right and wrong is because we're told if it's right or wrong. Like, the only thing that's not, we're not programmed to think is just, like, natural uh So do you, you apply everything that you was taught growing up, you apply it, to, you apply it today as a, as a man? Not consciously, as a parent. but everybody does. 
notice some that truth. a lot of the way we are molded is based on society like it's society it's molding. your responsibility to take everything you've learned or was taught and decide for yourself whether you want to apply it or not 100% so I, agree. You can't I agree with you I agree with you, you 100% you can decide your own fate and your actions I don't care We're what you're deciding that type I of do shit agree that kids, I, I agree with that 100% you're right you're programmed I'm literally speaking for an adult so when you're a child yes you, there might be some programming going on but as an adult it's your responsibility to decide what you want to do oh for sure but I mean so that's where the programming takes place when we're younger though at this point we're already programmed to think the way we so think so now you're grown so you don't get to use that programming shit so you, you don't that's think this programming that, shit exists I'm just thinking like up. Think about foreigners no. when they come to this country. Like, I don't think they deal with that same voice that we as Americans deal with. Why, why do foreigners come here and be so successful? Because foreigners, know? they don't, they're not in their head like, ah, oh, no, nah, I can't, I don't want to need to do this today. Like, they, they have, we have an abundance of everything here. You know what I'm saying? So we're, we're like trained to be lazy. Like, I don't feel like getting up. I don't feel like going to work. I don't feel like doing the fucking push-ups i don't feel like going even cooking dinner for myself you know what i'm saying like that's we, we have a lot of that uh-oh and what's the blame for that i feel like it's uh america i feel like <laughs> i don't know this is just a deep question i wanted to you dig into it cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, it i is don't know deep. enough about foreign countries to tell you if it's america and i don't know how, what they mindset be like and I, you're right it is different they do have a different mentality than we do so a little bit of it is true but at the end of the day uh i'm just big on accountability and taking accountability is a thing so yourself. that's what's going to separate the people right now you know like I because think where does the conversation end you got niggas who are uh you know the, the niggas who the, the white people that's out here shooting up all this shit we're gonna blame their upbringing for this shit their childhood some people i think are just born evil like some people are crazy some people are sociopaths some people don't have i think it's we're not we're not trying to say you don't have freedom of choice in your head it's just we are programmed to think things that are right and think things that are wrong i'm just not a fan of the word program i don't i just don't like taught it. same difference uh i don't like taught either that's even worse i don't <laughs> i don't give a fuck what you was taught nigga there's certain things that i was taught that i agree with and i apply certain a lot of things i was taught i don't agree with and i don't apply so I don't care about what I was taught. It's either whether it's everything that comes to me is comes down to do I agree with this or do I not agree with this. Whether it's being told from my upbringing, from society, everything that comes to me, do I agree or do I not agree? But do you think the majority on. of people think like you? Uh, no, and that's it's all up to the individual. So. If motherfuckers want to be out here you, uh, not thinking for themselves, then that's a choice. My issue is the fact that I'm even have to deal with a voice like that in my head and be like, no, nigga, shut up. It's like I'm literally having a battle. The that's what I struggle I with. I mean, it's a good too. thing that's there, though, too, all right? It'll stop you from making dumbass decisions, too, sometimes. Sometimes. But for right. the most part, it's, it's some lazy. I do think shit. everybody <laughs> in the world does have some type of voice up undertone for, for getting up and taking some type of action. They're going to have that, and they have to deal with it in a certain way right so i don't care where you're from i think everybody if we could it. come up with a way to develop to to train it to be different though we'd be much more productive people like if we could figure out how to how do we get a get i don't know if you can nowadays you got to kind of just the, the distance yourself from everything it, the fact that we're aware right. of it i think the only way you can do it is distance yourself from everything including you know government law enforcement religion all that kind of stuff you you getting into conspiracy Maybe. bag with it? I'm I'm no, just, I hate conspiracy theories. I'm just saying in general, like, me. huh? You He's saying me. that that I causes a lot theories. of influence, and that causes oh, conspiracy. So you're saying the influence? You're just saying the influence in general, right? Okay. Yeah, because everything that's that's where like right and wrong all comes from, and all the you know what we're taught. Religion. You know? Okay, right. I get you. Yeah. <sighs> it's like yeah. in your own bag. You kind of like, gotta ignore all that. Yeah, it's tough, man. But that's what separates the the boys from the men. You know what I'm saying? The greats from the normal but at the end of the day you should still be able to look at all that shit the ordinary oh, from 100%. extraordinary I agree future, right? I feel the same way you, I'm right. the same way you are when you were just talking about most people aren't yeah. having these conversations right though, so that's why I thought it was no it's a good it's a good interesting topic to, to, go on and on to about. talk about but at the end of the day you just gotta get up and say fuck the shit I'm doing it. you have to you have to yeah. train yourself to battle that voice you know yeah. so it's, it's, a, it's a nice yeah, little you just do them little bitch ass hundred push ups yeah 
This is a little petty, honey. Little what, you petty. do 100 push-ups every day? In the morning, and then I got to, you know, I double it up, yeah. you know, before the night's do over. Do you do them straight through, or do you do 20, 20, 20? I do 60, do? and then I do 40. But in between my okay. sets, I do 50 uh, tie sit-ups, which is basically mm-hmm. legs straight, back coming up, and then hammering yourself in the abs. <laughs> So, yeah. And then yeah. I do four sets of those. And that's every morning. Four sets of 50. So 200 and yeah, 200 of those, 100 push-ups. Then I go train and then they make us do more there. Okay. And then I got to end with two more, 100 more. So sit-ups. even though you've been doing that for a little while, you still have that little voice that's like, ah. Yeah, it's annoying. Like it's annoying. That's as interesting. That, that and I've been it. doing it for more than a month now. You know, they say you break a habit. A habit turns into what? 21 days or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. That's what so I mean. three weeks or whatever. I've already wow. passed that phase and still like I'd be like I know I can do the fucking push-ups. I just did them yesterday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just like I, it's annoying. But you but skipped today because you was like it was like I don't feel like doing. Shit. I'm not gonna lie. I got injured Saturday fucking with Troy's ass. We had a hard spar. It was hard for me, I guess at least. And, and uh, you know about a 40 pound weight difference. He's one of the he's one of the best kickboxers in the world. I think I did. He said I did good. You know what I mean. So we'll just take that. As, but I got I got beat. I got beat decently good. I mean, you're supposed <laughs> to get beat, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. It was it was tough. It's, it's, it I, I, walk, I walked out that bitch limping. It just matters how bad you get beat. I came in. I looked in the mirror. I'm like, why is there a scar on my shoulder? I had a shirt on. Like, wh- why the fuck am I banged up like this? Like, it's just getting beat I love up. battle scars myself. Yeah, I just know. been through some shit. Well, uh, I like it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was you be fuck with them battle scars, <laughs> them war wounds. <laughs> yeah, you fuck with those. Yeah, yeah no yeah. shirt yeah. with some war wounds. Hey, TT just on, you know. Uh, I've been seeing you quoting a lot of Lil Wayne raps lately. It's funny. Have yeah, you been ahead. seeing that? Yeah, I, I like yeah. old Wayne, though. I definitely like old Wayne. You didn't like it during the time it was, so that's the funny thing about it. Uh, well. I'm right out of my room. Listen, so just check this out. <laughs> yeah, let, let, the people, let the people know what's going on. With Lil Wayne, he was a solid artist from Wobbledy Wobbledy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was a, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> he he was building, and then he yeah. got on the forefront with what like 500 degrees thing. Oh, I wasn't man. really with him then, Rock but is hot, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But well, he was doing his thing. I I started to catch wind with the Carter one, mm-hmm. and then his you know uh, squad up mixtape. You know the mixtapes. Yeah. You couldn't escape those. Those the things. Trout. Those things yep. got to you. You had to hear them. You know. Yeah dedication and then uh carter 2 came out and and <clears throat> honestly to me it's a top project all time for me and top of the wind, just an all-time rap project all-time rap project okay. and for me uh i i have there's nobody's rap rap like how he was rapping on carter 2 nobody's rapping like that and, and i don't know if anybody has really rapped that way it's just a certain way he was rapping that was very like it was almost like he was telling a story mm-hmm. in just his own way it was it, yeah. it was uh something that I, I always go back to and i'm always taking little pieces from like like just like the you know from when i'm working out like mm-hmm. he got little lines on there like i don't care who at the top of the stairs i'm stepping up like just little yeah. bars like that yeah. is like he was doing a lot of bars like that during those years and just that's just, why i fucked just him. run off bars it was like yeah. damn he's kind of in his bag where he's just telling you what he what he is what yeah. he's doing you know so and it was cool too so yeah i'll be calling i'll be calling wayne but i'm not trying to get you know after that i think he it got commercial you know what i'm Water saying my wallet call it gas money that's stupid. <laughs> that is stupid. And he got... Wake up early in the morning. Eat that pussy like cold pizza. I mean, once after Carter 2 hit, for me, I mean, he might have had a little mixtape in there that Carter slapped. Carter was hard. But once it got to... Carter 3 was a, a solid project, but once... Stepped down from Carter 2, though, right? It, yeah, it was. But once he got to talking about, you know, doing drugs, like, that became, like, the forefront of his shit. You know, like, he, he actually made the doing the drugs uh, mainstream. And I don't think nobody gives him credit for that. He brought doing drugs. He brought that to the forefront and made it cool. Him and maybe Gucci. You know what I mean? Like, so that yeah, I thought that was big time that. lame. And you know, just being the solid nigga that I am as a young man, I just thought that was lame as fuck. You know? And he I wasn't with that. And I just had to back off. Like, well, fuck you, pop, pop. Like. <laughs> 
you know. And Pill popping animal. Yeah, so nah, I, just, I look down and on we shit like that. Eating so. pussy way too much for me. I mean, that's his preference. We talk about that a lot. Niggas be talking about worse. Yeah, he had a lot of those dope, those uh, classic money bars. Beat that the pussy really up like Emmett Till. We could talk all day <laughs> crazy. about how fucking that's crazy bro. music. We could talk all day about how music fucking literally been getting in here and uh, and affecting the minds of these kids from the way you have sex. The kinds of drugs you do, the internet trolling is at the forefront of things now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I mean, all this shit's been around since dressing our like a girl. Time, like, this is all enforced marketing in the hip hop, bro. It's it's crazy, bro. It's so, gonna be here forever. I just like I was just I just posted something the other day. Like, damn, how they push Lupe out the game? You know, and obviously he's a little wacko. But Did he, they push he, him out the game. Yeah, he, he, oh, and that he, his and he, he kind of helped it. He helped yeah, it. Okay. But uh, he he <laughs> definitely got difficult. But he got fed up with the shit, you know. Because like, I was just like the last shit that the last push he really really had. I think was on that. Uh, well, lasers. <coughs> I think they tried to really fully push him with lasers. Yeah. And then he dropped something that came after that. But what album was that? Bitch bad. That came. What album was that? That's the song. That bitch bad. Shit. Woman good. Yeah, Lady better. You know what the fuck you know. this is? See, but look, you don't like that that sound of that message, huh? I'm not a big Lupe fan besides the coolest nigga. What? The coolest nigga. I know, but I'm just saying shit. like... What the fuck everything if, else? Pull, up the, like hey, pull up the uh, Bitch Bad Lupe video. I, I just want tourists to see this I like real quick. Push. I don't like that fucking song. I like Kick Push when it came out. If you are what you say. That was when we worked at fucking finish line. <laughs> That's what it being made the memories. <laughs> so just just peep this uh, Lupe bitch bad real quick and go, scroll down if you can see what album we it's on. Oh it's, no 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 it's not on Tetsu it's on Food and Liquor too yeah so I feel like oh. that was his last like big push or last chance. Okay, I kind of remember this shit a little bit. And, uh, he's, yeah. and he's just schooling you like how the the music has influenced the women and then how the women's influences the children. Alright, you can kill it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know the problem with Lupe? He 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 made his whole career off just like mocking the rap game. So do you take that as a mock? I, yeah, that's all he's doing with all his fucking. But music. why is it that that you see that as a mockery? Just shut up. That, that's something that's There's needed. There's nobody that's listening to that. No kids. Nobody wants to ride to that fucking song. I get You're it. Dissing everything that's going on in rap. You don't agree. You hate every fucking rapper. Why is it a diss? It. Why is it a diss? I don't think it's a diss because that's. First off, niggas gonna make the music whatever they want to make. He's he's like anti everything Bro, that's right. He's a a solid real nigga, like a real one. I don't Fuck think whatever. So. Everybody else is doing the wrong shit, nigga. That's the facts. That's the truth. You don't want to admit it. He's telling you the truth, bro. That's how the shit goes. Okay, listen. I agree with what he's saying, but who's listening to that song? Yeah, that's not his. That's not his fault. And you make he makes a lot of songs. The like The mainstream that. marketing isn't behind him. No Dumb it down. On that fucking uh, food and liquor shit, uh, well, no, what's the cool album? He had a few of those songs on there where he was just kind of mocking and just making a joke of this shit. Like these bro, niggas are all jokes. Bro, he's telling the truth. He's That's telling cool. the truth. That's he's cool. telling the truth, bro. But why is he not in? Why let is me he ask the you a question. That he's let, in, let me. Uh, he's, he's, he's he lasted ten he years in the game. And he lasted ten years in the game. I mean, that's a that's he spent a, ten years crying good. and whining, bitch. But check this out. Check this out. Let me ask you one he's question. He's fucking crying like a little girl. Let me ask you one question. Ten years straight. Who does that? And it's not helping you. Are you? Are we? Or it's are not are our children and even adults? Fuck them. Are we being influenced by music? Yes or no? I can't speak for others. I'm not. Are other people? Yes, you can. No, like Are you gonna let your daughter know. listen to Cardi B, uh, some shit, whatever? 
I don't care because Are you gonna let her not, listen to it? It don't matter to me So you are all I know is that gonna, What's her nastiest song? What's the song? Well, I'm Wap? the number one You're letting your daughter listen I'm to what? I'm the number one influence I feel what you're gonna say you But are you me? letting her listen to it then? It doesn't matter if I am or I'm not I, Would you let her listen to it? Yes or no? Just answer a yes or no question If it doesn't Right now I'm not playing them songs For her, right? I'm not playing none of them songs And right then uh, even basic now I'm just saying You're trying to deflect Would you <coughs> let your daughter Listen to the song Explicit Yes or no? Yes or no? None of my kids are listening this to nigga any This can't do it. He can't give it to songs. Them. Okay. All right. So they're not, right? We're listening to fun shit. We're listening to motherfucking Baby Shark, all type of okay. shit. Okay. And there's a reason for that, right? Let's not... Let's not... Let's not... Because you don't want her mocking the ass to shit out of you. Let's, let's, let's not, me let, let's not me be nothing. prideful here. Let's not be prideful. It's not about pride. Are there... It's plain, nigga. If you're sitting here letting her listen to... Uh, what's it? Wet Ass Pussy? Yeah. Explicit. That's a There's quote. a good chance she's gonna repeat those words. That's an adult song. Exactly, and you don't right. let her listen to it because you're aware of the influence that it could no, have. No, it's not about influence, nigga. <laughs> Let's come on, it's come a on, song for, real, It's a song for grown-ups. Come on, bro. But you're, you know okay. she listens I'm to the song. I'm not gonna go play the fucking. I'm not gonna go play porn for my kids. I'm not gonna go play because fucking. Because it's an influence. Uh, yeah. Because there's not time for that shit. It's influence. It's an influence. You're not gonna let your children listen to it. But children are listening to bitch bad. You know what I'm saying? It's a bad bitch. It's coming on the radio. It's getting to kids for the most part. It wasn't listening to that song. <sighs> that song. Kids was not listening to that song. I understand. That's not the point that right. I'm making, bro. You speak on what he's speaking on. He it's a it's a right. full blown fact and it's real. Real niggas <clears throat> know there's nothing but garbage messages in our music. I'm not gonna say it's nothing but garbage messages. For the most part on a mainstream level. On the mainstream this level. This has been going when we was kids, I this is the same shit they were saying. Now all you hear about is oh the nineties is the best shit. When we was young, all they Go did ahead, was bro. shit on that music. So this isn't this That's isn't funny a, to me. It's not a generational thing here. This is not what Do I'm getting. Do you remember when we was kids what they were saying about rap music? It was, yeah, it was they're talking about the style. Shit. Same thing they're the saying that we're saying right now. No, but they're talking about the style. They're talking about the corniness of the like the flows, maybe the flamboyancy. I'm talking Those about Those conversations the, went away. I'm talking about the message, bro. The message. The message was only positive, maybe late there 70s, were a lot early more 80s. conscious rappers. Listen, they was talking about people coke, in the 90s, though. Coke and heroin, even then. I mean, it was bad in the 80s. I, I'm t it, Since I the beginning get it. of the time, it was bad. I, I, I get it, okay. bro. I get it. But it's that doesn't make it not factual that the messages are negative. There are some negative messages. They're mostly negative. No, they're I'm not mostly say that. There's negative. There's a lot of music out here. In hip hop, the messages are mostly There's negative. Millions of artists. How many ne Matt step in? Hmm. Don't do this. But you know the top it, niggas are mostly negative. Uh, no. Can you get through a song true. without a nigga saying I fuck this bitch? It's a lot of that <laughs> going on. Can you get through a song a without a nigga saying I'll shoot but a nigga? The problem with niggas is all we keep doing is talking about that. We don't we can sit up here and have the same conversation about the decent shit, the decent messages that's out here still. We don't ad we don't advertise. But they're not we only don't, evil. We don't market. They're not only, they're not only even Why the fair. fuck we don't give no energy to the opposite part of it? We want to hear about stop telling niggas about that bad shit. Tell us about the good the shit. Because the negative shit outweighs the positive it, shit. It because that's how y'all letting it. You even guys, it's y'all it's your fault. Even even if it's it, kids, but it's these kids that's listen to this shit mostly even if it don't it don't that don't sell that's why it doesn't sell nobody wants to see you hurt you saw that shit and not you, the you, niggas that you saw that make Lupe. this type of music bro don't get plays you saw lupe that's correct break some shit down did you listen to it I he, really he broke it down on it yeah. like very basic mm -hmm. but it was scientific yeah. it was clever who's the audience for this i don't know if it's is it you don't you think it's literally that they're not getting me. pushed or is it just i just think it's just not what people want to hear People might not want to hear it because it's I think responsible. That's why I think it doesn't it's, sell because it's not popular. It's, it's not what they it's want to hear. It's catchy. People it's cry baby. Pe people, Shut the fuck is up. Is it cry baby? No, nah, I wouldn't say that. I just, like don't think it's, I just don't it's think a, it sells. It's a he responsible message. Clip, uh, Nobody wants to be hear or buy yeah, anything no. responsible. No, no that's not what they're trying to hear. Lupe cry baby nigga I've ever seen in my life. Yes, I get it. I get it. Lupe did. Full-blown cry baby. I met the nigga. He was a person. But I'm but I'm telling you, his... Uh, I don't remember that night. His messages are legit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you can't deny that, bro. He was just a solid, real nigga saying, like, all right, y'all y'all making all this music. This is what's happening when you're doing this. This nigga's looking at his mom call herself a bad bitch because of your song on the radio. 
and now he's associating the word bitch with his mom. You know what I mean? Like, like it's a positive thing. It's 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 more shit like that needs to be talked about in our music for us to progress and be. I'm I'm happy. I feel like we're progressing. We're getting all these movies. We're getting people talking about real estate, talking about investing, I don't agree. talking the about music financial need balance. Literacy. We need all the shit we got. We need it. Clearly, the shit's not balanced, though. It is. It's balanced. not balanced. It's balanced, man. You have to dig for this shit. No, you fucking don't. For the positive shit, all you these have to artists dig. that are out here, we only we sit up here, we only talk about the bad artists. There's a <sighs> fucking gang of artists that are not that are. St- you got niggas like that NF nigga y'all love, you know. He's not, it's a gang of those. He's type definitely of not mainstream. I'm talking about the people that we are forced he just to. We're not forced to. People that nothing. hit the radio. The people Nobody's that listening to radio. Everybody has their fucking Apple shit. They Spotify. They make yeah, their own. Do they not got well, like, even the same stuff that pops up on like a home hot, screen? Hot you know? pick of the week, right? You know what I'm saying? Come on now, bro. It, it's influence. Let's just, you're being you're being ignorant. I don't have to. It's like Michael Jackson. It's ignorant. Ignorant. It's just ignorant, ignorant, bro. Just ignorant. This <laughs> <laughs> is ignorant. You're being ignorant right listen, now, and I don't, I don't know why it. you're trying to fight me on this because you're wrong, and you just need to just listen. Like the niggas be having irresponsible messages. This nigga had a responsible message because he he's solid in what he's. It's he not believes. irresponsible. They're grown men and women making songs about shit they like and they what they do. So you don't think that you don't you don't think that they're not catering. If that's the no, case, no, 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 no. We have to talk no, no, about no. all you, the nope, motherfucking nope, movies. Nope. Is Scarface Listen. irresponsible? Yeah, but you don't think niggas that don't say shit about that motherfucking Scarface. You don't shit. think that they're it's rated R. You have to be an adult to get into see the that. Same thing with this music. Why the fuck is you? No, play? it's your, on the your radio. Your parents are supposed to be shutting it's this on the shit radio. down. It's okay, on the radio. Okay, your parents more, supposed to be shutting this shit down. Music is a lot more out there than movies, bro. Niggas, you have to go pay. You have to watch a movie it. every day. Get kinda, your parenting s- controls on your kids' I devices. I movies. see it from both ways, though, too. Because movies. even in my own opinion, man, when I'm making music, I'm making it for me. I don't give a fuck. If you don't want to listen to it, if you don't want somebody yeah, to listen to it, a, don't. You're not, a, you're not a, a major label-backed artist. Even if I was, though, like I'm still gonna, I'm not going to... You think, can't I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I shouldn't say that because kids are going to think something about it or kids yeah, might do that. Fuck about but it because it's care. like I'm making, I'm not going to be over here trying to cater and, 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 and coddle Listen, these kids. I feel that. Fuck them kids. But you don't think that these artists aren't strategically doing shit in songs because they know it appeals to that 13 year old TikTok oh, 100%. user? 100%. Stop being dumb. Some of that shit is going on, but. The, uh, it's always going on. It's how you sell, bro. It's that that that's a hundred percent true. You, you you cater to what. So let's just let's not makes be, money. let's not be ignorant about this shit, bro. It's not ignorant, but y'all giving these niggas a hard time. All right, I don't. Even, we went on a long <laughs> ass loop. Saying, I'm over this shit. Bro. This oh, look transition from I'm Chicago saying. artist Lupe. Stop. Did y'all see uh, Kanye's new look? You want to pull up Kanye's new look? I seen this nigga's oh, look. I don't know. Real I saw a picture, but like I don't think GTA it was the real side picture. <laughs> <laughs> I said the picture. I said I, I said he looked like Tyrone Biggums, but I don't. He just cl- just straight up shaved his facial hair. He yeah, like, he did uh, do that. I hate when niggas do that. When it's look, like you have facial hair, and you're supposed to have it, and you <laughs> shave it off. Where is it at? Yeah, it look a little nuts. I don't care if you're black, white, oh, Asian. If you Asian. have facial hair and it's a, it's a f- at the forefront of your look, and then you shave it off, you look weird. Just put new look, bro. Did you already? I put shave. Oh, that's, that's like you, that's like you was lining that's up shit your shit motherfucking be. beard with that thin ass beard for the longest, and your shit was growing. <laughs> you just kept lining it up like a little pencil. Go to the web. Go to web. Yeah, this shit should be the first picture that pops up. It's yeah. going viral. Uh, it's, it was all over Facebook. I, I, I don't, don't know, know if it was a legit picture. I saw somebody I, I, comment on it saying it wasn't a real picture. I wasn't picture. sure. It didn't look like it was. Well, the nigga shaved his Some of the one with the red, the red, red, uh, red winter beanie, hat on and shit. Yeah. Red beanie. Yeah. He looked like Tyrone Biggins. Face looked fat I'm, I'm gonna keep saying too. I don't know what was He just on. shaved his facial hair. Like Kanye East. I, I didn't really want to say nothing other than he looks like a fuck. I just wanted to roast, you know. <laughs> facial hair gone, you know. Yeah, what he just look a little crazy, you know. But he's, he's going, going through some things, things, hats in there, yeah. He's always going he's through going some going through a few things. Hey, that's how he's a billionaire. That's just all the mega hats. He's always going through some shit. <sighs> if he becomes a billionaire, I mean, he's a genius. He is but a billionaire, it's just bro. Like, damn. I think he, it's is that he he's a billionaire. I think he's of worth Kim. Though? No, he's a billionaire. He said he's we don't really be knowing what these what's going on with these niggas in their pockets, even though they tell us. We don't know. Once your money gets up to that, it's not even about the money at that point. It's about your influence. Why is this about, picture not popping this up? Nigga keep running with that influence. I don't know what the picture is. One point three yeah, billion. Yeah, that, that's the thing, bro. Yeah, one point three. How the fuck? That's crazy. This nigga's a genius. You gotta give it to him. Yeah, I mean he's well, out he here getting get money. That he's a fucking money. mad scientist out here. Yeah, he got that right. motherfucking. And he all alone too. See, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's an accomplishment. 
What's he doing with all that money? He ain't doing shit with it, but just building. He said his last little shoe sold out in like less than a minute. I, I haven't bought one pair. I was gonna say, can we talk about these? Those things are ugly as fuck. <coughs> yeah, I not, he got the. Uh, it was a point in time, and we worked at the shoe stores. It was a point in time, like maybe five, six, seven years ago, when I just started noticing all the young niggas wearing dumbass, goofy ass space shoes. Yeah. Terrible looking shoes And I was just like And they trying to make it look hot They forcing it You know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> Those are fucking ugly too I be thinking these niggas Behind these shoes Really do be sitting up In it the office popular. like I bet you these it's niggas Don't buy these ugly ass shoes They know the shoes is ugly yeah. as fuck They be getting in the room And like alright How do we make the ugliest Fucking shoe <laughs> they, And they be having little bets like, I don't even think it's that I think it's, it's like Alright how much is our next shoe Gonna be I mean like $500 Alright What's it gonna look like I don't care Alright bet Right, done. They got it. They just yeah, it's a lot of ugly shit going on. But the, hey, you know, the only excuse niggas give me for buying those shoes is, oh, these are comfortable. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, think I can find some comfortable shoes for fifty dollars. Huh? See, don't you remember though? I used to rock the. I used to buy nothing but Air Maxes. You had them fucking Air Max nineties and shit. The Air Max nineties, the, the as you in like the 180s. it. The as you like it. You remember the as you yeah, like it? They those. don't even sell those no more. Oh. I'm so annoyed about. What that was shit. the fucking little generic Air Force ones that they had up there? What they was Force I Fields? I forgot <laughs> what they were. Force Fields. What the fuck? Nah, that was called something. I can't remember, but yeah, it was. So many they shoes. was in there man. going crazy about them shits. I fuck with Air Max still, though. Yeah, Air Max I got my solid. son a pair of Air Max yeah, 90s on the nice white joints. Straight. My son's got some Air Max 90s. Oh, uh, I got a topic that you guys want to talk about. <laughs> oh. Your boy Eminem trying to get canceled. Oh. How y'all feel about that, y'all? Y'all daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like man, I, I don't know what they're gonna try to. You can't. You can't he cancel that. He actually countered that with a video. I was gonna say I seen that he had yeah, and I Did heard it was I heard video. it was stupid. It's one Did of them. He say is he over here apologizing or shit? Nah. He wouldn't do no, that. No, hell no, he ain't gonna apologize for that shit. He probably make a song that's more vulgar now. To be honest with you, we need him to say. What fuck was the yo. lyrics they said he, he was saying? I guarantee you that, that he's getting canceled for. I uh, the it, was it's, dumb too Because he the said song shit So with, worse like than that The song too. he does with Rihanna Like if you try to Oh uh, yeah again, Love the way you lie set this yeah. fucking house on fire uh, uh, Tied to like. the bed And set the house on fire He said man. 50 times worse shit bro. <laughs> He said so many He literally said in a song I even make the bitches I rape come And And we gonna talk about <laughs> Said bitches on fire. Song. <laughs> <laughs> Eminem, see, I think the the this thing is good to, for Eminem. The thing to do Is to protect yourself From cancel culture you gotta have so much shit out there blatantly. You just gotta yeah, blatantly you just, you just own gotta your fucked up fuck. He's exactly. still saying yep. some you have gay to say bashing fuck shit on fucking when niggas yeah. come at you. I think I the cancel culture is starting do to die. I think it's beginning nah, to die. I mean, it's just, it's just, it depends. They're always yeah. gonna come out it's and a, cancel it's, a nigga. It's a bullying somehow. thing, not really. But, what's but going the fact that it's culture right now, I think that's gonna be dying down because niggas are popping up out of everywhere talking crazy. If they're gonna start coming at people like Eminem, that the cancel culture is gonna be gone in a minute. Well, but you see, there's a certain start coming. I don't give a fuck. 50 Cent, you can't do nothing to. So they leave him alone. They're not going to touch right. him. They're not even going to say shit. He, he can say whatever he wants. He's probably going to post it. Nobody's going to do nothing. You're right. That's, the, yeah. that's what you got to do. You got to come saying? on and you say. You have to be letting niggas know that you ain't no bitch because they're going to bitch you. They're going to treat you like a bitch. What so, are they trying to do with what? You said they're trying to do Dr. Seuss and shit? Cancel Dr. Dr. Seuss. Mr. And potato, and potato Head. head. Yeah. I know they, the uh, Potato Head, they're trying to do the gender thing, but what, with the Dr. Seuss, that's what are they canceling them for? I don't know why they canceled them. I think they were saying it was like. Speaking of the gender thing, they just. in the books. I don't know. I didn't catch that. What the fuck he was if talking about? If that's the case, cancel Stephen King. Yeah, we can keep going on forever with this shit. Right, every horror movies in general. We can keep yeah. doing this shit forever. Uh, right. That's the problem with this shit. We can go all day. Speaking of the what uh, gender Matt? thing? Oh yeah, there was a bill that they passed, uh, or that where they introduced, I guess not passed, uh, to get rid of boy and girl clothing uh, sections in stores. I heard about that a couple in years ago. In what state? Uh, I don't know if it was, was it. That was shit it? is dumb. I'm gonna be real. Be real. Yeah, no, it's dumb as shit. Well, because they putting it off on other people. Like if motherfuckers want to raise their kids like that, you do that shit. Don't make us. What the fuck would you tell like, like They're like, oh, why section. do you gotta put me in a position where I gotta choose? Because it's, a, it's like, fuck you. You're the minority. California, uh, yeah, of course, buyer, California, that makes consumer. Sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, not not many people are. Purchasing, have can the same we just throw it out there? Yeah, this this, shit, this, isn't, this shit. shit is science, bro. It, you are a man or a woman, period. That's just the shit. way it is. Uh -oh. Sick of this shit, not even that, but uh -oh. like, uh -oh. just Let's science wise. Just, just go ahead. Y'all get a disclaimer. <laughs> it, these are 
opinions it's here. It's some bitch ass shit. It's not, no, no, that's not an opinion. Male, female is not an opinion. No, that's no, just no, a I'm fact. But I get that. But I don't care if you want to. Opinions are coming. Go right? Yeah, you can dress nah, how you want to dress. You can do. I don't care what you do with your life, but you you are a male or female. Period. I don't have a. You know, my thing is you don't got a dick. Right? What the fuck? I think people just people do whatever y'all do. Raise your kids. Do all that shit. But don't tell me what the fuck. I, I'm doing this shit how I do it and mm-hmm. how I like to do it. Y- y'all niggas do y'all but shit. But you're a part of the majority right now. You're a part of the majority where people are supporting the b- gender section in clothing stores. You know, the boys section and the women's section. You're a part yeah. of that majority. Is that the majority now? I don't, the, know, how, I don't the, know if that's the majority It is the majority. Is Most it? people yeah. are going to be shopping for a boy or shopping for a girl. No, no, I know that. I mean, like, but as far as point of view, is that is that... The majority, the that people is the majority point of view. Still, it, so? it's just these voices that are ta- yelling this these shit bitch out. Bitch ass voices are getting loud. Bitch ass voices. They are bitch ass voices. They're, they're getting loud. Man. Demi Lovato said she don't want no. Uh, she thinks uh, gender reveal parties are transphobic. I feel like it's a Dwayne Wade. She better stop for I'm not like fucking no more. Dog. Yeah, no, no, you definitely can't be fucking Demi Lovato. Fuck her for saying that shit. Well, no, I'm still gonna be fucking. I saw you know uh, Kate Hudson. Dumb bitch, you can't fuck a bitch. She was raising her children as straight up genderless. It was this. Nothing. Uh, Kate Hudson. She had a uh, a new child. It was a child. couple. Yeah, it was a couple of them. Yeah. That Whoever does shit like that is a, is, is a bitch. You I don't understand that, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold blooded, man. And it's aggressive I'm not today. Be raising my daughter as a fucking boy. He had a rough yeah, week, y'all. That's not. I'm not doing. Or no, not 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 as a girl or boy. It's like they're gonna be genderless children until they it. decide what they want to do. Children that's have all kind of impulsive ideals <laughs> and, know, man. and curiosities. So it's like you're putting it in their head way too soon. You, know? you, you have to. Yes. I don't know. Who know? It really makes me interested to see where society is gonna be in 20, years, 20 really. then fifty. You know what I'm saying? Then a hundred, yeah. like. Like I, I think it's gonna get to the point where motherfuckers don't even have sex anymore. Like niggas are gonna be walking around <laughs> naked again, bro. I think the Probably. sexual Ooh, desires will be gone here. And like, uh, have y'all ever seen Prometheus? No. Nah, like alien. It's like a, it's like an uh, extension of the Aliens movie. Nah, I've seen it. Yeah, no. I feel like I've heard of Long it. Long ass time ago. Say yeah, it's old, right? Basically, their race got to the point where they were trying to become basically pure energy. Mm. They were just trying to. T- they stopped. They stopped having genders, and they stopped having sex. They they were they p- created like procreate or what the fuck? Um, gen- they, you know, just genetically the, shit doing going? shit, not asexually, yeah. but oh, yeah. they just they figured out a way to re whatever yeah. without sex. And, it it um, is concerning the direction that is going because uh, it's too much catering to to random people. It's too much complaining. catering to this bitch shit. Fuck them, catering to this bitch shit. That's exactly it. <laughs> For lack of a better word, it's like fuck you niggas. Who, you know, you never know. A hundred, two hundred years, a thousand years, they're gonna look back and see an interview like, look at these primitive ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we fucking, yeah. we're pure energy. But whatever now. happens, just saying <laughs> fuck you. Y'all fuck niggas each complaining other. about my <laughs> nigga shit. <laughs> Say You're fuck funny. you. We keep it trucking. Um, but yeah, aside from that cancel culture and all that shit, like it's did crazy you, because. My fault. Did you know that bitch from Juno was a nigga? She's turning into I a dude. Crazy. Yeah, Ellen yeah. Page. Yeah, I found out because I was watching the Umbrella Academy. We knew she was gay though. She was then. gay I mean, in this yeah, show. But damn. I didn't see. I didn't know she was doing. You this knew shit. she wasn't getting dick. That's a fact. You yeah, just no see question it on her. about it. Just her vibe. <laughs> you see it on her. <laughs> but, uh, and there's also a lot of actors out here complaining. I want to. I want to see what y'all thought about this. Actors who are gay should only be doing gay roles. Hmm? They're not agreeing with It's a new thing going on With the shit When straight actors Are playing gay roles There's been some pushback About that now <laughs> Oh like only gay actors Should be doing gay roles Right So then can they But can then they there's not, a they whole Another side to that well, like, then, say, then they can't do straight roles Exactly uh-huh. And that's this type of shit That's fucked up Because nigga Okay then you can't do straight roles Then you don't have nothing to say But it's if not, they're trying to say It's the same like A white person shouldn't be Playing a black person In a movie Or like a, I mean that's different though but that, that it's that's just a a broad example. But I'm just saying, like, like I mean, a, is it different? Like it's because kind of I'm light skinned I shouldn't be playing a fucking Hispanic. Well, you know what I'm saying? Because I could pass for yeah. one. You know what I mean? Like, because I'm Shia not. LaBeouf shouldn't have been playing that motherfucker. Nobody Mexican, got shit to right, say. Right, exactly. Playing that fucking Mexican nigga, right? <laughs> Some yeah, gringos in the body, yo, bro. 
<laughs> but uh and T.I. playing the uh, vitiligo nigga in that cutthroat scene right that's a dim- discrimination against vitiligians <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't find a nigga with vitiligo nigga but what I wanted to segue with the cancel culture shit is excuse me the only way to cancel out cancel culture is to just be coming out to protect yourself is just to be coming out here it's crazy and I feel like more and more of it's happening cause I ran into that nigga that I through that I sent you an inbox. I've been watching mm-hmm. all this shit like Kevin Samuels. <coughs> Have you peeped Kevin Samuels? Uh, I don't think so. Oh my God, you gotta pull up Kevin Samuels. What bro. is that about? This nigga be doing crazy talk. Go to YouTube. That nigga's a fucking savage. He just be shitting on niggas he talking be shit. shitting on these females. That's like, what we need, man. Type in Kevin Sam. He just that's, be. That's yeah, he's a nigga that I know you are gonna love. So if you ain't, <laughs> if you ain't seen more, this nigga, uh, let me see what's going on. With this type uh, of I, I need it. You can watch that interview. Is pretty good. You'll want to because the interview is like a, a philosophical breakdown of like how a, how he's doing what long? he's doing. I would type in best of Kev, at, Kevin Sam. Yeah, but he's going of, crazy on. Just get a little clip of the nigga. Let me see what's going on. But go to best. I don't know how I didn't know about this, but. Top five savage moments. That's what we need, man. We need more real people, you know? Oh, Fuck all the sensitive shit. <laughs> so that, that's just him like coming at he be coming at females but he's but he's doing it as to how to lock down a high value man you know you're getting 5,000 plus people watching you uh, asking these questions what would be the one of the biggest takeaway tips you could give to women in the current dating marketplace and lock down a high value guy mm. stop <laughs> stop what did he say? He said stop. So I think he said only like ten percent of you are gonna get one or something like that. This is the one. Uh, I'm forty two years old. Uh, last year I used to weigh two hundred and three pounds. None. No, I'm not finished. None. Yeah, you not are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> He said, "Yeah, you are." <laughs> These girls we talk about how they looking for a man. Yo, man, I said you're finished. You're finished. I'm done. Yep. There's nothing for me. Not realistic. Well, Thank you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm for see, it's the age and the weight. <laughs> and if you have any children. So my kids are. Okay, man, I don't need to. I want. <laughs> <laughs> Taurus loving this shit. You called my show on a day that you ain't was supposed to be here. And I honored the call and sat here and tried to help you. And I'm telling you. Hey, I fuck with this. <laughs> my department. I do too, to be shit. honest with you. Cut this shit. Cut these shits, shits that, too let short. These motherfuckers know. Uh, Oops. You have a big dick? I mean, it's above average. I ain't no Brian Jeremy. No, 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 no. I asked you if you had a big dick. I just said it was above average. <laughs> I don't know what that is, really. Uh, nigga, you know if you got a big dick. <laughs> 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 and then, but he snapped even further on that though. He snapped even further that he's Nigga, like, you know, if you got a big dick, you don't have one. That's funny as shit. Oh man. Why? Because I don't. I'm stingy. I'm stingy with them. Anyways, you can cut it off. But he be snapping, bro. He be snapping on women like. I gotta check that out. He's funny as hell, coming at women be crazy, dead ass basically talking too. about like dead ass. Women trying to find love and they're trying to find a high value man. Mm-hmm. But like, if you 30 and you got kids, he'd be like, "Oh, nope, done." <laughs> he'd be like, "No, why? How, how? Why do you like? That's not realistic. You can't get a high value man. You got a kid. Don't no man want to raise no other man's kids. <laughs> not a high value man. And nobody's out to get this nigga. 
so far. They, I think they're just they're loving it. Like they be trying to call his show to argue with him, but. Yeah, you people see, motherfuckers just it. really like picking and choosing who they want to throw out and who they want to keep, but even though niggas is doing the same shit. He, these it's uh, fucked up. These kind of people are coming up. You know, they came up through the pandemic, basically. Motherfuckers yeah. were bored or just whatever. I, I'm liking it. I'm so, it. peep out Kevin Samuels. I posted a post him of him. He's he's coming crazy. Some women ain't going to like his shit. I'll be 100% A lot of women ain't going to like it. Turn this shit off. Like the ones that can't handle the truth. There's an authentic piece to it. Because I'll be real. Like, have a, however, like, have you ever thought of dating a chick and then you find out she got kids and you're like, oh, that damn near ca- canceled the bitch out? Yeah. That's Bef- a real thing. That's what they yeah. do to us. Women ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> now, I think women are more likely to give a dude a chance if they have kids. because well, a lot of times you niggas ain't telling them motherfuckers how many kids you got, so they mm-hmm. don't know. This nigga said, you niggas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, don't even know if we don't call him the next day. But Pete Kevin Samuels is, uh, is an acquired taste. Uh, last thing I wanted to peep on before pause, we get pause, it. Pause. Well, you're going. <laughs> <laughs> last thing I wanted to get into before we got into these movies is y'all peeped. Uh, they got the the Rugrats reboot coming out. I did they got a reboot. Then. Yeah, know, it's I gonna be 3D it. animated. Is that why you? I oh, like that. I don't know if I want I that. I like that. I'm actually excited because my son's been watching. Well, I don't the, like that. The 3D cartoons. animation. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, is it supposed to I be like? I like it, bro. I like it. Throw no. it up. There's a trailer. I bet you it's not gonna be nothing like that. The original though. That's they, what I don't like about it. It's, it's all the original it. cast. All the original voice cast. Couple of them died there. though. No, no, no. All the. Couple of them did die, nigga. I know this shit. Which one? The motherfuckers who played Chucky and shit. The, nope. the person who played Chucky what and Phil and Lil is the same. The original nope. one has is. I already read into Look all it of up, this. My shit, nigga. Bro. I already done did it. <laughs> the, o- the OG version of the, the character, they're dead now. I already so, did this, bro. The motherfuckers Maybe the OG dead. when the first started. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. It was six original seasons. For what, the Rugrats? Yeah, or it might have been eight. Well, I didn't fuck with the deal episodes. Is it the original episodes, though, or is it new episodes? No, they're new episodes. That's Chucky. That's not the fucking original Chucky, Chucky, you can tell. That's Angelica, too. That's not Chucky, okay? You can look that up. We'll look at it later, but yeah. It's tough to tell, too, though, because if it's been, what, how long has it been? 30 years, 30 years. Yeah, different voices are going to be different. 30 years? It's been that long? Some people are hating on the animation. That's crazy. I like this. Some people are hating on the animation, but I like it. I think it's Kids are going to fuck with this. Yeah. Because they they not fucking with the original cartoon. I actually don't mind You see your son is liking it, but they look at the animation. My son 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 be watching the original. A lot of kids is not feeling it. They got this Paramount like Plus shit. I, I mean, think, I'm for it because I, I think they're coming out with Doug and everything. I mean, I was a big Rugrats fan Doug. when I was a big uh, kid, uh, I was little trash, kid. I Rugrats guess. and Doug, motherfucking Arthur. Niggas don't know Doug about was Arthur okay. Like that. I wasn't a fan of Arthur, honestly. Arthur, I was like, I, I just never fully got either. into it. It was because it was on Channel Two, I think. <laughs> you just like it's a little lame. That's the channel. Yeah, I didn't really want you. It's a channel. It's a cartoon channel. You call him up for station. This nigga Torres be loving them channels. He got the uh. What is it? TV Num- One. TV One. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Channel Two. Don't sleep on TV One, nigga. It's the fucking cartoons when you watch. You know about TV One, right? It's the yeah, cartoons you watch when all you had was an antenna. That's the weak fuck nigga channel. <laughs> TV got, One is the black shit. Got some fire shit on there. <laughs> don't fuck around. Got some fire shit. But that Rugrats shit look dope. Um, I'm going to check that out. When is this coming? Is it coming on Hulu? I'm going to have my daughter check it out for sure. New episodes. I feel like they should have been Monopoly shit going on with all the streaming shit. Oh, the Rugrats? Yeah. Man, Rugrats was the shit, man. Come on. This streaming shit's taking over, They could have rebooted it from yeah. the fucking... Where is it rebooting at? Paramount Plus. Oh, that's lame. So they own so Nickelodeon. So we gotta go get some, another motherfucking and All thing. the Nickelodeon shit's about to be on Paramount Plus, yeah, so we're gonna have to get a new one. Yeah, <laughs> they could have rebooted they, they, That's smart, though. That's what they should have been doing, bro. What? Making us pay for the channels that we watch, you know what I'm saying? Just do the They just came out with the motherfucking... So they came from Channel Plus now, more a la carte, but... Yeah, it's like a la carte, nigga. Fuck the, the Comcast is finna be finished in a matter of time. Well, they're good. they're they're but they're breaking off into these other you know Viacom. All these companies yeah. own these cable companies, and they're breaking. You know the off shitty part about it though, the shitty part about it is this is all supposed to be like to cut the cable and then go. It's do turning this and back stuff. into cable. Anyway. It's, even if it's not you to to get all the shows you want to watch, you got to get eight subscriptions and pay more than you would for a cable. Well, it's still cable is I over two hundred dollars. So. I've seen this for the first time. Well, they're, what they're about to do is these cable companies. So they t- obviously turned into the phone companies and the intercom- yeah. internet. They're getting us for those, right? The internet service, and they're you know they're bucking spectrum it, issue. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But then, okay, people aren't paying for cable no more. But yeah. now, you got to pay for the apps that you want, right? Mm-hmm. 
I'm starting to see some of these apps are buddying up. So, like, Disney obviously owns a shit ton. So, yeah. you can get the Disney Plus. You can get the ESPN Plus. You can get the... There's one more, too. Yeah. It's a couple more. You can get them uh, together Hulu. for twelve ninety nine. Hulu. Hulu. You know what I'm saying? So, like, they're starting to package Stars. these... It's starting to... It's going to turn into cable again. Yeah. Just it, we, it, And we're going to be paying it. more. We're yeah. paying double now. Right. So. Well, a lot of times, like you, you got shit like this Paramount. How much shit is it gonna have? It doesn't even matter because we want to niggas want to watch the Rugrats. It so looks like have. basically they gonna have all the Nickelodeon shit, and they're gonna have yeah. uh, their movies and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, cause Hulu, you get Hulu. Yeah, it's kind of lame. They don't got a whole lot of shit on there. For niggas. If you get if you purchase like certain Hulu. tiers, they're watching Dragon Hulu's Ball Super damn on there. Hulu. Fuck with Hulu. Hulu's the only platform that got the OG Rugrats on it. So you get, if you want Rugrats, Hulu got you gotta have all the OG Hulu. cartoons and shit. Yeah. Hulu's got the cartoons, yeah. Do they? What else they get? They got a lot yeah, of shit. Yeah, uh, a lot of shit. Of shit. If you get HBO or you get the live package with it, then you yeah. can watch all, all the, the live Dragon Balls. Yeah. 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 All of them, like Hulu home, is guess. basically yeah. cable now. Like you can get, like, you, you get, get live TV. Live TV yeah. You could pay like it's sixty dollars, sixty dollars a month for like they live TV with sports. Just, yeah. they're, they're going crazy out here with all this shit, bro. They doubling up on us with the cable, and we thinking we not paying. I know. We gotta watch the shit closely. They're for five dollars. Here, six dollars here. I really actually like $10. the way Netflix is doing it because everything that comes out on Netflix is like their shit. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it's like yeah. that's the only true uniform Netflix original product that we're actually yeah. buying. Exclusively. That's the original streaming. And they still too, give so. you some of the splashy and other little shit here and there. But yeah, yeah. So and their movies are getting better. I'm telling you, their movies slowly but so sure. far. I mean, we've seen what two or three of them. I haven't had a problem with any of them. Well, that's yeah. a good segue. So let's get into these movies. We got what. We doing three movies, maybe three and a half, four. Taurus might do a, his own little run on a, of a of a movie, and I'ma listen. But uh, yeah, we got Billy Holiday versus the United States coming to America, <laughs> um, and we got what Tom and Jerry's in there. It sounds like we're gonna talk about that. Anything else we talking about? Let's do those three. Let's just stick All right, we coming to you right now with these motherfucking movies. Let's go. We got. What do we want to start with? Let's start with the weakest of the week. We gonna start with Tom and Jerry. Would you agree that's the weakest of the week? I actually don't think it's the weakest of the week. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not like Tom and Jerry when you exactly. kid, bro? My nigga. I was disappointed yes. in what they did with it. Let's, so let's start with Tom so and Jerry. Come on, let's, let's get to it. We've already started. Let's go. Yeah. I, so I you don't watch Rugrats, but not Tom and Jerry. The movie was a bitch made, my nigga. You understand what I'm telling you? Yeah, the cartoon was tight back in the day. All right, nigga. Taurus, you do the, you do the movie. Bitch made. Listen, Tom and Jerry. Pull up, Tom and, at pull, up, pull, up, pull up all the Fuck info on Tom and Jerry. Listen, Tom and Jerry. First of all, let me get to it. Because if I want to highlight anything good about the movie, I got to try to, each movie I'm going to try to give something positive if I can come up with something. Because I don't want to just full-blown shit on these movies. Uh, After saying it was a bitch even though it's tough not to when they making terrible movies like they are <laughs> Tom and Jerry the animation was great looked good go to the side right there I yeah. like the way they made Tom and oh, Jerry no, look IMDb as well. blended in with the real world with the real motherfuckers I didn't like that uh, <clears throat> I'm I mean, just said it was different. It was some Space Jam shit. You know what I'm saying? It looked better though. It just looked the quality was very. It looked great. Um, the I, problem was Tom and Jerry was fucking barely in the movie. It, yeah, it wasn't all what about Tom. What the fuck would y'all doing? I don't like old girl as an actor, really, to be she honest. She was lame either. as fuck. Was that, it, it was a different role for her. Was it better than Garfield? Oh, that's a good one. I didn't even think Garfield, Garfield was terrible. Oh, they got a Hey, it's, it's killing it's me, but I need you to terrible. fix that rug under your feet. What they did do good with this movie is they gave us some dope black music to put in here, rap and shit. They thought they was John gonna, Legend. Yeah, <laughs> they had T Pain and shit. They had a fucking trial called Quest at the beginning. They thought we was gonna be set. Oh, they get all the rap shit all in the movie, black shit all here and there. They had Lil they Real they play black playing the fucking on the cartoon. Um, this was directed by a black man too. I just found that out. Tim Story. Is he black? He is. Oh, so, so we he can't is. even just say, you know. It's fucked up because he should have gave us a better fucking movie then. Yeah. Uh, I mean, do we need to... So basically what happened in this movie? We're not... Listen, this storyline <laughs> was just the most generic that I've ever seen in any of these type of movies. Uh, like, who is this movie made for? 
kids. This is way too boring. I think boring it was for made for kids. My son slightly watched it. He liked when he they was going. Fuck he liked it. when the cartoons was going ham. But obviously, right. he, he he lost the attention when That's the they problem. weren't present. You know what's funny is my and daughter then, enjoyed it, and she's the youngest of my two kids. But was she? The scenes where Tom and Jerry wasn't present, she was like, "Damn, they're out of it. Like, I'm up out of here." You know, we <laughs> I, we put it on when we were laying down, trying to chilling. So how old is she? Yeah, five. My son is seven. He wasn't a huge fan of it. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be different for boys. Wasn't the original the original original Tom and Jerry was actually just no interaction, no talking. It was no, just yeah, there's no, there's never no voice. No, no, no. Later on, they did though. They Tom start. and Jerry never speak. Oh no no, they don't speak. I'm saying like they oh, didn't have about, dialogue. There was the, no, no people. The no. Jo- no, the dog. Oh, I think the dog. Uh, the original talk. ones, I don't think had any dialogue. That's what I'm saying. The, the super. I think it was all just music and sound effects. The dog. Oh, had the dialogue. very original ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just yeah. them going at it, and you, and that's what I was really. Ah, the, the fucking classic Tom screams. Yeah, you get their there. screams yeah. sometimes. Yep. But that keeps you engaged, and we. I just, I really would would have liked to see something. They like They did that. a good job of making it look like it was about to be dope in the trailer. Did they? <laughs> yeah, like just some of the cinematic scenes of Tom and Jerry, you know, with the lightning and the rain and all that shit, you know, like it in, yeah. in, in the action with them. Like they made it look like it was about to be dope, but you know what's crazy? I can't even t- explain to this the storyline of this movie. Like, well, what, what I, the fuck was honestly, going on? So I'll. <laughs> this is where I'll Can you tell me what the story like what are they doing? I, I fell asleep on it. I can't tell you <laughs> So I fell asleep on it, but I also <laughs> I, don't know. I, I I stayed with it even when I was asleep. Like I woke up in the middle of it. That don't make no damn sense. I I, I, know, I knew everything that happened. I like I, yeah. I knew what was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um but from afar, like just looking at it, taking a step back and take out the Tom and Jerry, whatever, the story was I was fine with it. But it's the execution of it that was. I don't know why you were fine with this story. Like why? It's not a good story. I thought they they were onto something. Like so from, with what the hotel. from what I've seen, correct me if I'm wrong. From what I saw, because like I said, I fell asleep on it. Was the story basically around sort of the main character, and these guys were just kind of fucking around in the background. So what they did was they used obviously it's Tom and Jerry. So their their feud is the is the forefront of the movie. Or their fr- their feud and friendship, whatever. Right. Um, and they, but they use the girl, I guess, her story as a platform for their feud to take place. Right. That's, yeah. But um, so the story really had nothing to do with Tom and Jerry. They just kind of interfered with the story. Uh, well, it did become about them uh, with the story because the girl was just you know a little hustle and bustle chick from New York Bitch. trying to get it in. She she pl- she's the one that played in uh, the Equalizer and uh, Kick Ass. Neighbors. You know what I mean. She was an Equalizer. She was an Equalizer. Oh yeah, she was in Neighbors too. She was in Equalizer. What is she that? <sighs> no, I, I don't. She, she was in Equalizer can't. One with she's Denzel. Right. She was in Kick Ass. You know what I'm saying? The she's little white, girl. You know? Did you ever see Kick Ass? Fuck no. That <laughs> movie's dope, bro. That's actually an uh, uh, underrated movie, movie, honestly. Bro. I ain't seen the shit. I don't know what it was It don't going look on. like... I, I it's I one of the movies where if you watch the trailer... You, the fuck it it, it kind of was a parody, but it was also dope, though. But it's yeah. another story. But look, so she's in that... Uh, you say you're not a fan of her. I think she's coming up... Like, this is the first time I looked at her and was like, oh, you're grown. You're almost damn near fuckable. You know what I mean? Like, she's coming she's into... she's fuckable in neighbors. You would have fuck her now? No, you gotta be like 23... Solidly looking twenty three. The bitch ain't twenty three. I think she is. She's she's got to be. Oh, I, I think she's she like twenty seven or some shit. Oh yeah, that's right. You like fucking them old fifty year old bitches. No, I'm just saying you gotta Sarah look. Paulson you gotta look grown. I mean, come on I'm now. Fucking Sarah Paulson, bro. But oh, she's garbage, man. But look, 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 look. you gotta look grown. I, why do we always talk about do we fuck these hoes or not? Because <laughs> 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 we always bring up whether if a, have if to a female off. actor if she's fuckable or not. It's it's the, it's the you, you set it off show for the show shit. Click or, click on her so we can make sure she's even eligible to even be speaking like that. No, go down to the cast to the right if to the right. Eligible to even be speaking sure, on her like there. that to the left to the left to oh, the right, right there. Okay. Uh, well, how old is she? She's twenty four. So she's we could talk about her like this. Okay. Of course we can. This is like the main part of the show. What are you talking about? She's cute. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> her so acting is really her, low quality. This was different. Yeah, this was I'm different saying. from her on this movie. Acting. On this movie, she, she was being comedic. She, she's acting. more of a comedic Which, actor. No, no she, I don't think she is. She didn't do a good job. She came from That's Disney. All she does she, is she used bro. to do like Disney or Nickelodeon shows, right? There's a difference between comedy and know. satire, though. I think she did. 
Yeah. I, mean, I think she's more satire, like, like uh, you know what I mean, sarcastic and shit type of actor. But comedy is not something that she does, and she yeah. she tried. So I'm to saying like she's more. Of She's more. You don't have to be a comedian to be a comedic actor. She, she, she's she's more, not a comedian. She, she, she can't more do it. Role she can't playing do it. in comedy yeah. movies. So she shouldn't no. be. She shouldn't have been in the. She, she shouldn't have been casted in the fucking movie. Boy, well, anyways, she sucked the fuck you want Jennifer Love Hewitt? Yeah, bring her ass back. The acting she was. Bad, corny. Was she? The, 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 acting, <laughs> yeah. the acting was corny because it was supposed to be. I believe it was supposed to be corny. And because it's Tom and Jerry, I guess I could see that. And. uh you know, yeah, the movie sucked I because hated I wanted to. Uh, Spanish, what's that nigga's name? He been in a lot of Michael shit. Michael Pena is dope, bro. I don't fucking he be, like that nigga, he be bro. doing. Every, he was corny in this movie because that's what he was paid to be. Yeah, I don't like him, nigga. But I've seen him in some <laughs> dope. I've seen him do some <laughs> dope movies, bro. He, when he's funny, he's funny. I like no, I like him. He's been in like some cuss, serious man. roles. I don't like. Cuss. He's been in some serious roles. He's been in some asshole roles. Like I, he, I think he's. Fuck is Michael Think he's a good actor. I think he's got. Was that was Versatility. he in? Was can he, he, be a, was he, can he play a lead role? Michael Pena. I think he has. Michael Pena. I don't think he's ever played the fuck is that? Go to Michael Pena. The, dude, go the, down. the usher dude, whatever. You can just go to the cast, bro. All you gotta do is go back. Go press. Oh, that's right. I had to go back. But there you go. Oh, this, uh, he plays an Ant Man. Lame shit, Dora. We have a little funny. Yeah, he was an Ant Man. That's yeah, right. He be doing big ass lame ass movies. I don't mind for him, years. But go go to his uh, movies real quick. Go down. Go click over. You. Here. The little arrow for all the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not. We got to get a better connection, Matt. On this, you should be feeling what I'm saying. That, that, that <laughs> end watch. No, 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 no. The end watch is a dope ass movie. Have you never seen End Watch? Him, he wasn't movie. Crash. Yeah, that's right. I'm not watching. Go it. to go to End Watch. Go to End Watch. End Watch was a good movie. Yeah. Him uh, and uh, old boy. Yeah. 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 He's, he yeah. plays a Come serious it, character. He's a very versatile actor. He's, he is. Yeah, look at no, him. I'm saying he's fine. Him and Jake Gyllenhaal. You never seen that shit, bro? I ain't seen this shit. You have to see this movie. This is this is one of those ones. Yeah. I'm telling you. I think I should be good. Nah, <laughs> I, and the watch is definitely This is one watch. thing I can't stand about you sometimes. I don't bro. like this nigga, bro. It's a good movie, bro. I ch- I, you know, Maybe I you don't like him because you haven't seen this film. I'm going to check the motherfucker out for y'all. Yeah, try to watch it at least 10 minutes if you I'll watch it and we'll talk about it at a later date. All right, anyways, the movie Tom and Jerry, we don't want to spend too much time on it. Basically, I wish that it was just fully animated. That's what I wish. With no fucking humans. No. I don't, and that's where it would, went wrong and then it, they try to make it for adults and kids so we can have that nostalgic feel it and work. the adults could appreciate it. But yeah. Was there a nostalgic feel? Just the fact that only when they was in the alleys and shit, you know what I'm saying? But the fact that, like, nah, it just it didn't hit for me. Um, that's really all I'm going to say Big about it. Big disappointment. Yeah, it wasn't very nostalgic. Fuck em. I, I say fuck them for even making it because they just, they, they, they keep doing this to I give us. It a, I give it a, 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 a four. I give it a, I give it a three and a half, basically. I give it a two. Jesus just because of the music. <laughs> Where you at with it? I only saw half of it. What I saw was like a three and a half, four. So you can't grade it then, right? Not really. So it's an incomplete. We're looking at a, we're looking at around a round of three here. Yeah. So. Fuck that movie. All right, on to the next one. Let's let's get on. <laughs> Bitch ass yeah, shit. I never let's, watch it again. Let's <laughs> <laughs> let's get to uh, real takes to Billy Holiday versus the United States. Taurus, take it away. This is the one that you wanted us to watch. What what are we dealing with in this movie? She bad. This was uh, a. So she bad, you, you know. This bad. was a uh, a new movie. They got uh, Andra Day. Mm. I think her name is. She looks. I ain't never like seen her before. She's, like she's a singer. She's she is a singer. Uh, she can sing her ass off too. She's, a, she's actually a really good. What singer. song does she got? She got a song called Rise Up. You probably yeah, heard. Rise Up is her biggest one. Yeah, it's her biggest song. She's mm-hmm. one of them that that's got that voice that that is up there. I don't she, even want to have another room. singing conversation. No, no, no I'm just, I'm yeah, just letting you know. This is wrong. But yeah, <laughs> anyways, this was a... <laughs> Look at his eyes. <laughs> yeah, it goes. Stay focused. But um, yeah, the United States versus Billy Holiday. This is a story I wasn't really too, too familiar with. I was familiar with Billy Holiday. I was familiar that she was had a drug issue. Um... I like was familiar with her from just from Lady Sing the Blues. Said Lady Sing the Blues, yeah, with the Diana Ross. Um, I thought um, this movie was interesting. It was a political take on it Billie was Holiday. A political take, exactly. Black History Month. It was one of the movies too Black that History. was loosely based on a true story too. There was a lot of stuff that was kind of. Yeah. Uh, was it? Yeah, there was a lot of stuff this in there one? that was just assumed. Yeah. Double check. 
Yeah, I, I did. I looked into it quite a bit. I need to see it. Well, like, what, like what, what, her, what, 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 what like part? the whole the um the part the whole the song they were trying to get her to not sing the entire time. Strange fruit. Yeah, that that was all like really, fa- I don't want to say fabricated, but like they made it a way bigger deal in the movie than it actually was from everything I read. Like they never had a problem I with it. like see that. like a lot of those concerts that she didn't sing it at. Mm-hmm. They said in real life she actually sang it at. Uh, like I didn't, I didn't they didn't out that, yeah. that that was going on that they just kind of they just made that, that for part of the story to liberties. make it so they yeah. they, 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 they to make it a more interesting story. Dramatic liberties. <sighs> you know what they're doing, man. You know, you, I'm I'm gonna tell you my take in a oh, minute, yeah. but no, I want to hear your take. Okay. <laughs> crack my neck real quick. All right. So check this out. Let these niggas know, man. So Billie Holiday versus the United States came out as I believe the on the last week of Black History Month, right? It did. And they obviously went on their tear with these Black History Month movies. We know what's going on. We know what time it is with the climate right now. Mm-hmm. What's popping right now? Okay. The fact that you're telling me this shit is loosely based and some of this shit isn't true makes it even more of a head scratcher for me like what happened again in this movie that I brought up uh, with the with the black with the uh, Judas and the black messiah vilifying the FBI and J. Edgar Hoover he comes up J. Edgar yeah. Hoover's name comes up in this movie and it, we demonize it or villainize them which I don't you know I, I, I like I said on that in the past I'm not like a I'm not a, a J. Edgar fan. <laughs> Def- definitely a not. I'm looking at things. Yeah, you know, no. He, I mean, he did his part to break some shit up uh, that affected black people in the. In oh, a, he's a bitch. In a bad way. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, other yeah. Way yeah. It, right? I, I'm yeah. not a fan of him. I don't fuck with him. Yeah. I'm just looking at what's. I'm just taking a step back and Trying looking at and what's at looking at what's happening right now. Right. So a once American hero is being uh consistently vilified now so we're 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 taking him out of our history it's mm-hmm. looking like so and we're t- you know with that comes the FBI the FBI gets dragged and it's like yep. i mean how do we feel about these you know we t- we hear people and this is getting off to the side away from the movie a little bit but do how do we feel do we feel it's about to get political matt <laughs> do we feel like defunding the police is a good thing do we feel like getting rid of police is a good thing do we feel like we need to get rid of the fbi do we feel like can we trust our government do we you know like these are questions that are being raised consistently um and if it gets to that point where the people truly don't this is just an a a, 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 a <coughs> one view that i'm seeing if it gets to the point where we commonly fuck say fuck our government which black people have done because of how we've been treated but if it becomes a common theme it's basically like we just gonna kind of fall apart from the inside you know what i mean as a country or what's about the what's the fuck's about to happen here you know what i'm saying so i just it's not something that i'm afraid of but it's just something that i keep in mind you know what i mean i i keep up with the trends what's happening yeah. here all right we're, we're, we're doing a consistent thing where we're we're vilifying the but it's for the betterment, uh, you know. I like of it. racism. You know what I'm saying? I like it. I like how they do it because I just think that this. First off, anything that these white people hate us doing, we should be doing. They don't like. They hate that this movie's out but right the, now. But the, the, the this is what I'm saying. Like it's directed by Lee Daniels. These racist white people. They don't like this. That we're being. They, we're telling. The but they're this. promoting it. So what's the agenda? That's what. That's what's making me think. Like what's going on here? Money. Is it just a money grab? Yes. Like, uh, all right, let's throw J.R. Girl under the bus again. Let's get some paper. I you know what I mean? That kind of stuff. <laughs> like, <I don't> know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I do think it's a couple of few of these white people who do agree with some of this shit that we should. No, no, that no. Is some bullshit. Most we should be sending this message. The out. only thing that makes me that's what I'm saying. That the only thing that makes me take a step back is I know that there is a white person somewhere funding this in some way. Right. And so <laughs> I'm trying to somebody in power, you know, with money. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, why is that happening? Clearly, it's all about. I money. think there has also, on top of everything you saying, there's also been a, a, a surge in the, the 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 need and the want for these type of movies. So they're recognizing that this is something that, on top of everything, it's so saying, much to the point where they take a true story of a, a real person and 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 fabricate some of the, what's going on. I mean, come on, bro. You know, all these movies is going to be some fabrication. I get it, but. I feel like this is one where we could we could just run it though we could run it straight up. Why? why this do we, one? 
yeah, why do we got to add some shit to it? Her I mean, story is interesting really? enough. I mean, if he ran it straight up, it's really just about a singer <coughs> who has a drug problem. Which though. is interesting enough. You think so? Yeah. You think it sells? Well, we can look. We can pull up any of these. Why do we picks? make her story political? Because it sells money. That's what I said. It's going to be able to make a lot less money if it was just about her and her drug problems. But doesn't that, at that point, make it feel a bit like a stretch? Like, all right, let's make it political and let's, on top of making it political, let's throw them up against the government. Just, let's just shit on the government a little bit. Because fuck them. That's why. Like, <laughs> fuck them niggas. Like I, I said, it's, I, it's I worth it. selling right now. I get it. Yeah. It's and popular, too, to say fuck them. It's popular. Especially with black Government people. talk is popular. I get it. But there are... And there, fuck you niggas, I'm too. just saying there's repercussions <laughs> to that. Like, a if we all begin to think of like fuck our government then eventually you know there's, something's gotta happen you already think that though I know but it's never been a, a, a consensus mainstream agreed idea when it is a consensus mainstream idea somebody die when they put these movies out these movies ha are powerful influence that's gonna be the name of the episode today <laughs> influence influence uh these movies not are not just making movie uh, money; they're influencing too. So I, I don't believe these things are just the cash grabs. They they put things in movies specifically on purpose. You know what I'm saying? No, I definitely just like you agree see a fucking with that. what movie did we just watch? Uh, Coming to America. They had a fucking Pepsi ad in the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's just that's a that, that's a bad example but i'm just saying they purposely put these things in there and try to act like it's just i'm sure pepsi paid them for it yeah so that's i mean that's also money I'm just saying yeah i can agree with that a lot of uh strategic moves is being made with these movies and shit but um <clears throat> there I has to be a say, villain in there somewhere you know in yeah. movie wise it just has to it be it has to be a villain and, and i'm and i've been this is and i'm just a weird thinker like that because i definitely have always <coughs> i've always said I hate the police. I grew up hating the police. Yeah. Just from my experience as a kid. Mm -hmm. So you're in favor of all this shit. Fuck these niggas. Defund them. Anti-police, right? I'm in, I, I've always said fuck the police. Yeah. When you start talking about sophisticated ideas like defund the police and yeah. all these things, now I'm starting to think. You know what I mean? It's just making me think. I'm not coming to a conclusion, but I'm just starting to think. Like, all right. Is this, is this the best possible? How is this gonna work? Is this is this what's best? You know what I'm saying? So I, and I'm not saying yes or no. It is. I mean, I definitely don't think we should be giving the police money. They got too much. Because defunding is fine. That just means taking money from them. They don't. They well, got. They got a lot of shit yeah, they don't need. Everybody's when taking their the, own definition of this term. And when we just, give the police money, they're just gonna pay off another family that they see. No. I don't. I don't even want to get into talking about defunding the police because we can have a, d different ideas and topics. You know, make these It'd niggas use their own money. It'd be a very long conversation too. But well, they don't have. Anyways, they got the pe that so pension, I'm, bro. I'm stepping I'm back. Yeah. I'm stepping back, just <laughs> looking at it. Like, okay, I noticed that right away. Like, all right, we made this movie political. It's on some black shit. That's what's popping right now. That's what's popping right now. And we're gonna shit on the FBI. Let's just throw them in there. And shit on the government a bit, and then you know what I mean. So I just—it's just something that I noticed right away. It's, it, I mean, it's I, guess, like, I see what you're saying. It was a real easy like <coughs> thing to come up with in this movie, though, because she had the relationship with an FBI agent. Like that was real. They don't know if they were like romantically involved. Okay. But she was she was cool with dude, or they she you know they had they knew each other. Okay. So that that gives me more context. Right. Okay. Because now I'm starting to think all oh, this shit is fake. Yeah, no, no. Her and dude, I can't remember his name, but her and dude knew each other for sure in real life. Yes. Okay. Nonetheless, they, it still was another opportunity with this with the J. Edgar Hoover. I just you just got you got to start peeping when shit comes becomes consistent. Is all I is all I say. But uh, so let me ask you this on that note. Just then, I want to get off to, to the next shit. But when they keep like let's say like with some of these white documentaries. They just keep putting out serial killer documentaries. That's all they do. That's when we when you think about the the, the black content that's being put out versus the white content being put out. It seems like there's a lot of negativity they putting out on the white people. Like they glorify all the killers. They got 15 documentaries over plus that are just about killer niggas, killer white people. So do you think that black what people are, are truly in charge now on the Lolo? And then we're just about to start shitting on white people and it's tight on them? 
No, I'm just saying, what, 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 what's the strategy with that side of it? What are they doing with that? I think uh, what's the, what, what's well, going with, on the, there? with the documentaries and the, the, the uh, serial killers, money. that's, that's going to be something, you said money? <laughs> It's, it's yeah. all it is, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, I think that's something that people are, are always, it's taboo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I just think. White people love that shit, man. I'm serial killer things. Well, I loved it, though. I love watching serial I killer shit, too. Why do you think yeah, well, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not saying. Law and Order, why do you think these race? shows are like uh. long time running? <laughs> people are intrigued of why people, they want to dig they, deeper into these get minds. Get into the mind of people that aren't normal. They glorify the killers. They, they, yeah, they, yeah, they get glorified. It's like, oh, so yeah. so why are we He's infatuated like with the mafia? It's the same that thing. Too. <clears throat> yeah, it's just interesting. It's an interesting yeah. thing to just think about. Like, what's when you think about the strategies that are going on? Because yeah. it's deeper than just money, too. Like you said, it's. it's I it's think what we need to do yeah. on our show, though, is like. You, we brought up this term responsible responsible messages and shit. We we need to also be like breaking the fuck down what's happening when we see these movies. These ain't just movies, okay? This is me on my free mind shit. Like all of these movies got a purpose. You it's know an what artist's I'm saying? All these movies have yeah. some kind of purpose, and it's influence us and to influence us in some direction, whether it be little or big or slight you know what i'm saying so i think it's our job though when we when we do dissect these movies we listen you know if it, if it's there if yeah, it's right. minor we don't need to discuss I mean, it'll it. be there for every necessarily movie. it's always something something so strategic to do uh, something to oh us. yeah there's not not um, everybody's that uh, uh, that talented that at doing like that. that but i mean the writers are always going to have their own opinions too so it's always going to be some sort yeah. of bias something in every film yeah well, just do it. But anyways, back to Billie Holiday. So this movie is different than Lady Sings the Blues. Um, I like, the, I, to be honest with you, I like Lady Sings the Blues better than this shit. Probably. Oh, yeah. I felt like it was shot better. I just <clears throat> felt like it was, it just felt, it, it created a feeling that I can remember visually. You know yeah. what I mean? This movie, it felt like a fucking Lifetime movie. Um, it was damn near tough to get through, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it wasn't it was a little yeah. tough slightly to, tough to, to, to get. It wasn't through. captivating. Yeah, I think the actor, the main actor, did a good job. But let's talk mm -hmm. about that shot when she was bent over, ready to take back <laughs> shots. She was killing that, that was shit. legendary. That man. was that not uh, niggas start chopping. That was high shit. level, right? Yeah, it was, that was high level. Had to rewind that a few times. <laughs> you know, you know, she ain't had to train. You, she just knew <laughs> she knew yeah. how to do that. Shit. Right, right. She got to showing off her, you know, her whole body in this movie. So if you say she's a singer, yeah. She's a damn good she she looks a lot like Rihanna. So, so she's she's going for it. She's bad. She's going yeah, for she it all. Bad. So she done gave it up now. She done gave up the goods. Yeah, so it's a wrap. we'll see if this propels yeah, that's her. Oscar. That's all you got to do in a movie. Get an Oscar. Yeah, it seems like it's <laughs> it's nominated already, right? Is it? Hey, Amen. I see. I see that it was all. It might have already won too. She won a. I think a fucking what the fuck is that award? Golden Globe or some it's, shit. Yeah, it she looks like it already. might have already. She might have already uh, won. It's unfortunate when women become the first to do something when in the movie they had to fuck a nigga or do something crazy. That was uh, a, that was a nice why little Denzel scene. Why had to be crooked That's before like he Halle took Berry it? Why Holly Berry ball. for fucking that nigga? What, what that did that what did say? Why Holly Berry have to? Fuck that nigga in that movie. <laughs> that was a, that was a great scene though. That was real. She was fucking that nigga for real. That nigga's balls is on the. I, I wasn't looking at the balls, but yeah. I mean, you had to. When she was riding I that shit. I wasn't paying. But this this this. <laughs> this <laughs> I think the story was good in this movie with the FBI agent. And this I, movie was ass. Okay. Let the niggas know. Well. It was Talk ass. I barely got through it. I, I wouldn't say it's fell asleep. A, I wouldn't say it's an ass movie. How do we feel about uh, Everybody Hates Chris in there? I he had a minor... Yeah, his minor, role wasn't a big... ten lines good. in the whole movie, bro. Yeah, you don't believe him. He's just like, I don't believe this. Honestly, this is everybody I didn't believe the niggas. He was, he was the, one of the only niggas I believed in the movie. <laughs> he had ten lines, bro. Wow. <laughs> Maybe wow. that's why. I didn't... I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't agree with that. I, 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 I bought him as a instrument. What was he, he playing? No, I wasn't buying him at all. I, I just, bought him as a sax a player. Kid ass nigga. He, he, unfortunately, he's stuck. He's gonna be stuck on that road for a minute. He Everybody really hates Chris. Out of there. Yeah, that's gonna fuck his <laughs> that's life. That's funny. Up. His name was Chris on there too. It's yeah, fucked up. I'm cool on the nigga. Was it? Yeah, so it was. They got him fucked up. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know. I didn't really know too much shit about Billy Holiday either. I didn't know she was a. <laughs> big junkie, big time. 
she was, you know, she definitely she has one of the most interesting voices of all time. Popping back in the it's day. Okay, her voice is not that good. Her voice is crazy. She's just a jazz singer. Okay. You know, that's the. She, yeah, she, her I mean, she voice did. is the inspiration her to like. Voice is, her voice is. It's, it's an okay. Her voice, voice is different. Like, well, it's not a jazz. That's, that's the word for it. Different. What, what's that bitch from the UK's name uh, that died? Amy Winehouse. Yeah, like she's oh, the in- shit. inspiration yeah, yeah. to that agree. whole Chris, Chrisette Michelle, and yeah, we, yeah, it's a lot of that you know type all of, of these females. Maybe even Sade, who knows? But mm. okay, hold on, mm. stop. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, her story. This Second was a cool story. It gave, it, it gave some yeah, context. She wanted, she wanted, so she want to go and glow <laughs> for bre- a- best actress drama. That's crazy. Movies. Unfortunately, she had to throw that ass back. I feel like she wouldn't have got that. I she think that was all titties. Po- that was all positive for her. Damn, is that, yeah. I believe she did a good acting that job. That's what I just said. Is that sexist? Did she not? Did she not act? She did a great she, job. You said you don't uh, think she would have won it if she didn't show her titties. Uh, is that is is that sexist? Is it sexist? Yeah. I don't think it's sexist. Well, she wouldn't have won if she didn't show her titties. No, I think she did a good That's acting not a sexist job. Sexist take. I think all she the the throwback scene with the bend over like I, that was enough. That was an Academy Award. If you had said, I don't fuck with her. That was an Academy Award with an arch. Yeah, that was a legendary arch. She had an arch she said, down. She said, you've been tell- she t- so you're talking to your boss? You've been telling her you've been fucking you've been me good? You've <laughs> you tell her you've been fucking me good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hilarious. Yeah, that, was, that was one of the best scenes of the year type shit. Um, but... I feel like they could have dived a little. They tried to dive into her childhood, and I feel like they kind of briefly. Not, not they much. fell a little flat on just that. Just focus on this one little topic, and then, they could have got deeper into her yeah, use of. They the could have got more poetic with her drug use. You know what I'm saying? Definitely the trashes. I did like movie the of motherfucking Black History Month. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. I feel did like the it? scene. The, I think the one scene was well done where she ran out and found the. They, you know, they found the wife hanging from the tree, and then. She ran through the house, and the house kind of went through like her history and shit, and then onto the stage. All with the drugs. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. kind of a cool little transition. But outside of that, you know. actually, you're right. That was the one good. Mo- that was a good moment. Besides the fucking. But yeah, um, this movie. Uh, I don't know if we really want to break down the whole story because it was tough to get through. It's basically her life. It looks like they fabricated a little bit with the FBI agents and the arrests and some of these things. But, uh, you know, I don't know how true it says that she was handcuffed while she was on when she died. Yeah. They, they claim yeah. There, I did read something like that where she had, she had a disease. She was. Yeah. She was in the hospital and then the police came and and instead of and kicked like the nurses and shit out and they like stood guard until she died. It was weird. So back then, she was yeah, only 44. That's crazy. What she had, I forget exactly what she died of. I think of. it was called acrosis or some shit. Cirrhosis. Cirrhosis of liver the, failure. Yeah. Something from all of her drug yeah, use. Yeah, because her eyes was like real yellow at the yeah. end. Yeah. And that's like a, that's known liver to be failure. failure yeah. in the liver. Yeah. So, I mean, she wasn't going to live too much longer. I don't, the techno, the medicine and the technology wasn't yeah. there, you yeah, know, no. but. Uh, she still want no Al Capone shit. Billie Holiday's, uh, you know, one of the, the marvels for black women of history, you know what I mean? Uh, music, you know, so. That name alone is just legendary. That Strange Fruit song is kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? It's She got at it. She, crazy she, song. She, she got to talking, you know, on there. That niggas know so what it was. So props to her on that. This movie uh, was probably a little too long, uh, but it has to be when you dealing with history but for how long it was i just figured i just two hours and 10 minutes it didn't need to be that long to be honest with you there was a lot of unnecessary <clears throat> kind of scenes in here too yeah for how long the movie was it wasn't keeping me in like it. judas and the black yeah. messiah they was perfect cut some pacing. of the fucking scenes mm-hmm. uh, say that again judas and the black messiah was perfect pacing yeah it's it's two hours. Gotta watch it. you mm-hmm. gotta watch it I get to it one day. It was tough for me on because I knew the outcome. When you, when I be knowing the outcome of what's about to happen, it's it's tough you for me. You be knowing every outcome of every motherfucking movie ever. Well, that's based yeah. on actual history though, so that one was <laughs> it's kind of easy to see that one coming. I'm just saying, like motherfuckers is just knowing every movie, the outcome to every motherfucking thing. Anyways, cool. this movie was uh, dope uh, for like ten minutes, and then. <laughs> It got kind of slow for me. Yeah, it was a real slow movie. Uh, I thought Andre Day did a good job, and some of the writing in the story was interesting. But for the most part, it fell flat for me. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a four and a half. I was wondering about that little uh, that soft ass nigga they put in there, and yeah. was he was that a real nigga or did Lee Daniels just have to say I gotta put this nigga in there to rep for my shit? No, nah, that nigga. That <laughs> Which one? 
Who? Because you know Lee Daniels is gay. No, what? Oh, you talking about? So, oh, oh. I didn't know what was going on with that. They talking about, talking about the, the FBI actor? No, he's talking no, about the her friend. Her friend. Remember the nigga oh, how that was real? On. How real he was? That nigga was funny. He was a funny. But I think he was he one was of the funny. bright spots of the movie. He was funny. Nah, no, he was. Yeah, he was funny. But I just, I just wondered what was going on. There. Are you it's, saying like if she had a friend that was actually like that, or if that was just thrown in there? I think yeah. that was, was fabricated. Oh, yeah. I don't think that was openly out there with the gay shit back then, but. I don't know if he would have been able to, but maybe in the art world, music world, maybe. But Especially in the 40s. I think crazy. Lee Daniels was just like, I'm going to do this for this movie. Right. Excellent. Yeah. I didn't know Lee Daniels was gay, gay, but yeah. so. more power to him, whatever. Um, it, his That that character in the movie didn't bother me. I, I actually enjoyed that character. He, he was brought, one of the best characters, honestly. Yeah. He gave you a good laugh, for sure. Mm -hmm. So. The shit he was doing. Um, but yeah, what you give it? Four. What you give it, Matt? I gave it a five. I gave it a five and a half. Just that that point five just go to that motherfucking like you said that arch game that was quality. That back shot. Uh, yeah, that was just that <laughs> arch alone. game. I had paused it on that part and let oh. it just. So you <laughs> paused it and got <laughs> off. I had to. You know, <laughs> like I said I had paused it. I had to let it. You know what I'm saying? Just let it ride out for a second. Say, you been like, telling them you been fucking me good. <laughs> I had to let it. I had to let it. You know what I'm saying? So like, Come on now. I was. I was. I wasn't expecting that because I knew she was <laughs> getting ready. Excited to about that. She has shit. a nice little moan game too. But the first thing I thought, like, oh, she about to bend over and her arch is gonna be whack as fuck. Mm. And she got that motherfucker. You know, she, that I, I already knew she was able to get down. She threw me like, off. I wasn't prepared to see it. Like, I was probably a little extra. In the, uh, she so did. I was impressed. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sure so didn't say arch. What do we got on the map for that? We got a four, four and a half, five, five and a half. This is right. That's so at like a four. Wait, you said four, four, four point seven five in there. But you love the ass, though. Right? <laughs> <laughs> She's. I mean, she, you she, comment looked, on she looked good. Why you didn't? You, why did you I comment didn't, on? Why did I comment? I don't understand why you're not commenting on that. That's fine. Right? I mean, it's four point seven five. What did I get? A six on uh, IMDb. All right, let's no, do this no, no, next no, movie. Let's. This oh. movie uh, is uh, highly anticipated. Okay, we got Eddie Murphy. We got Arsenio Hall. We say the whole original cast. Tracy Morgan. We got Jermaine yeah, Louis Fowler. Anderson. I thought Leslie that nigga Jones. died like five years ago. I Wesley know, Snipes. Louis Rick about, Ross makes an appearance. Yeah, Tiana Taylor. Uh, Tiana uh, Taylor. Uh, she was man. Michael Blackson made an appearance. What is this? Why they got the whole? They got a whole yeah, gang, gang of appearances. Of One of the biggest problems. They got Mufasa back. All right, so I'm just gonna start off off back because I've actually been seeing mixed First reviews part, on thing. social media. I've already had some conversations. Confusing, right? I've seen people say that they love this movie. Yep. Which I'm like, how I've seen the some people fuck? say it was better than the first. Yeah. I got into my tourist bag. I started, I started commenting dog shit on people's shit. Like, <laughs> I can't and understand. And they shit it back, shit back on your ass when they saw you was shitting on it, right? <laughs> yeah. People, I don't know. This movie was horrible from the get go, bro. I, I thought it was gonna be. Uh, somebody had told me like, yeah, the first fifteen minutes was tough, but then I actually started getting into it, and liking it. And then I was like, okay, so I tried to sit through that fifteen minutes, but then once I. It never had a 15 I, minutes of fame. I, I realized 15 minutes in, like, damn, this movie is going to go exactly the way the trailer said it was going to go. Yeah. And I and I knew the outcome of the entire movie simply from watching <coughs> the fucking trailer. Is it fair to say this is one of the worst sequels you've ever seen? I thought about it. Because of the the original was so good. It, yeah. There's such a gap yeah. between the... There was more nigga shit. This yeah. movie was a bunch and of... And this was fucking PG-13. Yeah, that, that I, when I peeped problem. that, I knew that that was an yeah, issue. Yeah, that, that to after the yeah, fact. I thought that it was really hard. So. What the fuck is Eddie Murphy doing, man? Oh, he the, didn't give a fuck. Back this that, is what we need. Try to get a wider. He tried to get a wider audience. I think. Fuck that shit. You, you know, you know what type of niggas like this movie. What we need to actually admit here is this nigga Eddie Murphy ain't funny no more. That's the truth. Have you seen him in interviews and shit? Where it's like yeah. it's like this nigga either be high. Or he just, like, Martin, you know how, like, Martin had a stroke or something? You could yeah. kind of tell in his con. It's yeah. like something's going on with this nigga Eddie yeah. where he just, it don't even feel like he here. And he still thinks he's funny he's for some reason. different nigga. He be it's, laughing. It's the same for him, Martin, and Chris Tucker. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, man. As far as acting goes, I was never a huge fan of thinking he was funny. Eddie? Honestly, yeah. Nah, his he had a run of was funny. funny. He had a run of some, like, like yeah. the first coming to America was funny. But, like, Trading Places was funny. Was I funny. guess it, Nutty Professor was funny. To me, that was really childish. First Nutty Professor was funny. 
That was a kind of a childish movie. Have you seen Life? Have you seen Life? Funny funny shit in it. Have you seen Life? I don't know if I've seen Life. Life was funny. <laughs> even that like might be where it ends. Even right? Bowfinger, where he was in Bowfinger in there. Was, yeah, I was cool and all that. I mean, the movie was trash, but he, he was kind of funny in there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, he's funny in a lot of shit. His, his Saturday like Night Live shit was funny. The new one he just did. Like his two little stand-ups was funny. Uh, yeah, that shit with Richard Pryor. Hall of Nights yeah, was funny. Yeah, that was great. Mm, yeah, okay. You know, it was that was written well. I too. might have spoke a little too soon. I guess maybe it's just too. because since then, like. Since I've been old enough to where I see the movies like as they come out, I haven't been a fan of. Them. I like fuck? Beverly Hills Cop too. You know what I'm saying? Couple of those was good. Those what was the funny. fuck is he doing? He's not funny anymore. I don't. And I'm trying to remember. Was this? Was that uh, Dolomite movie funny? Uh, it really wasn't that funny. And Wesley was in that one as well. Just some um, whack ones that came out, bro. I, like I didn't. I wasn't a big fan of that movie. Yeah, Daddy. And it's Daycare. done by the same nigga, by the way, Craig Brewer. He went on a roll of like. Making a family movie every year. Norbit. No, Norbit I like, I like Norbit. terrible, Shrek. bro. I think uh, Norbit was funny. He's a Shrek. He been doing no. full time, just like get, they was. They been throwing big checks at him. He just like I will do whatever type shit. So, uh, Doctor Doolittle was dope. The first one was cool. Well, um, was there a second? Wait, was he even in the second, second one? Second yeah. How long has it been since you've seen movies like that, though, Doctor? I feel like I liked it because I was young. I feel like if I watched it now, movie. it would be a good. A thousand good little movie. words. That was, I, I feel like that never came out and then they put it out that was some shit they shot and didn't release and then they're like alright let's throw this on, that, but on the screen but it was not good at all fam nah it wasn't he's not funny anymore he's, he's just not funny anymore Tower Heist <laughs> that was think, bad dude. Think oh, he I think he actually he might have been funny that was his last funny mo- moments really in there wasn't, when he wasn't though go get, back when he get into it. his like ignorant nigga bag where he that's gets what we want to see talking his old school we shit you want to see that life shit like motherfucker I want to you know like getting to talking his shit he's kind of funny what I will say about this movie the only bright thing about this movie the only funny thing was the barbershop scene those were good those the characters only funny tight. part in the barbershop scene was when the last time he came back looking for his son. Mm-hmm. He's like, I don't give a damn if he get king. I got a dog named King. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that was the only funny line. Other than that, I didn't laugh. I, was one saying, I think I laughed time. at this movie twice. Uh, I didn't laugh I, I liked one the time. nigga when he was up in the chair and he was like, man, don't, don't be saying that shit. You, you can't be talking that kind of shit. Now you have to get out of my chair. It almost felt like a movie that wasn't supposed to be a comedy. I'm a tough I'm a, I'm tough with the comedy It felt like just like a mediocre It's just a fucking it family movie very very forced right. family uh, movie yeah. It was just a ton of callbacks to the to the old movie We wait 30 years Not for this shit Come on now Ton of callbacks to the old movie a uh, ton of uh uh guest appearances mm-hmm. It didn't help and I felt like they was almost like them they're trying to pacify niggas was like we get, look we brought every single member of the cast back we got Gladys Knight fucking here yeah, we salt got and motherfucking pepper. Salt and Pepper Rick Ross it's gotta be great we got Rick Ross yeah, and we got a cameo I from Rick Ross Wesley Snipes was Tiana slightly Taylor. funny Wesley Snipes wasn't terrible he was I, overdoing he was that character funny. is that the first time he's done a comedic role and he did he did Dolomite uh, too and it was comedic I was gonna say I don't think uh, it was the first time no 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 he wasn't comedic and he was though in Dolomite he was a yeah. serious professional actor in Dolomite I think I mean, he was, it was comedy, he was he didn't have any comic lines it was it was funny like the, the I feel like I've seen white man can't jump might be the only before. one I feel like his character in that joint with Arnold or uh, Sylvester Stallone was funny Oh yeah, he was a little funny and uh, I was gonna say I've seen him play a comedic role. That's one of my I favorite think. movies, and I can't the fucking fuck think of the name yeah, of the movie. Either. Demolition Man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he was um, kind of funny in that. Too. I didn't care for him in this movie. I thought he was overdoing that shit. He was trying overly to be funny. It wasn't fucking funny. Uh, bro, I don't even think uh, he was trying to. Who was his name? In this shit, they, this or, what the, where they went wrong with this movie is they tried to literally make every fucking moment funny. And it's like yeah. you need a you need a balance. Like some of these moments have to be serious so that the funny moments. Honestly, can I don't hit. even think he had nothing to do with the writing. No, he definitely didn't have nothing to do with Eddie. it. Eddie, you know, uh, Arson? oh, you're talking about Eddie. Yeah, I, I think, think he might have. I don't it's, think it's, so, it's, bro. Come on, I, I don't. I think he was just there. I, he didn't write the script, but I think he had stuff something to do with. Uh, I'm, now that I'm thinking about the, the movie, I feel like I am shitting on it a little, little hard. Good, but I, but I got. Good. I'm going according to Eddie's standards. Like, yeah. the, you That's know what, what I'm saying? To do. So, like, he's yeah. the legend of the legends. This is this is an, I don't. I mean, and can we say this movie is better than Norbit? Uh, I, I, 
I don't Norbit's know. Norbit's way funnier than this. Hey, I'm saying I don't know if this movie is better than Norbit. And Norbit's is the trashiest movie. It's stupid, but it's funny still. Norbit? You can, you can be stupid as long as you make sure the funny is good. It's just like fucking uh, Don't Be a Menace or some shit. It's dumb as fuck, but it's hilarious. <laughs> right. It's to this day. Norbit is funny, and this one isn't for me. No, it's not funny yeah. at all. So it's, 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 I'm in a weird spot for this movie because I feel like I can rate it higher as just a movie as I can as a comedy. I feel like you can. So I take mean, it. actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, 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 you're you right, you're right, you're right, and that's where I was thinking, like, damn, am I shitting on this movie too this hard? This is a comedy, and it's a better movie than, than it is a than comedy. But it's still a bad movie because you. I didn't say it was good, but it's, I can rate it higher if it's if it's not supposed to be a comedy. The movie was a little fast paced for me. It was too they was rushing into shit too quick. It was going yeah. way too fast. And then it was way too predictable. Like I yeah. knew as soon as this nigga had three daughters, I'm like, oh, he's gonna search for a son, but this is gonna yeah. be on some women empowerment shit. So the daughter's gonna be queen. I felt like there's some I knew that immediately. Disney Channel movie I was watching. And the problem is too that nigga, the First of all That son was a fucking joke That nigga sucked He was a bitch He's Nigga a ran straight to his mom With them three bitches Was about to give him a rub down <laughs> Bro but I hated What the it. fuck, what the fuck was that That shit pissed me off He ran to his mom like, I couldn't this believe That they cast this doing? nigga 31. For the role of his son That nigga was really bad At this yeah, job Yeah I felt I was a little let down When I seen that He was casted for the came, son He was a clown your haircut. I, But he's not like The clownest nigga I ever seen But I just felt like They definitely could They should have did DC Young fly or some shit like that it would have worked better to have the two of the hoodest niggas coming back to uh, Africa uh, right that was that you could believe but they wanted to have like they wanted I like that they instead of yeah. like having a hood like you know what I'm saying nigga that with no skills they chose to have like a young black hustle and bustle nigga that could it doesn't really believe work, he was a hustle and bustle nigga though need, you he, actually threw, he threw his white voice on once in the movie I think I think he was talking about his white voice Tracy that Morgan was trash him. But he's always trash. He was only funny in Martin, honestly. Um, he be he be funny sometimes. His his bit. comedy is like it's a weird kind of comedy. I that never I, liked the nigga. I'm not a huge fan. It's, it's more based Morgan. on like how he talked more than anything. It's not even. Also, man, it's like, I'm a dumb nigga. It's just how he like, talked. Like, what up, yep. Chief? Yeah, it's just 100 percent by how his voice is. And yeah, shit, he's 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 not very um, funny. I also didn't like how the fucking. I don't. I'm never a fan of in a movie when niggas. Get a bitch, and he talking about I love this bitch. I'm about to marry so this bitch. So quick, that shit Ooh, is rack. Right. And I picked that right seven. away. Once yeah, he started having like conversations, two weeks. This, this, right. That's what I said when I was. What, this nigga only know her for a you week. Just meant to yeah, be he, that, that was that, super poor show. You could tell he was gonna be with her. Getting married after yeah. yeah. He's riding for this bitch. Like I'm marrying this bitch. Like nah, nigga. This, this shit fucking was, Titanic. Shit. You don't. You <laughs> don't know nothing about this. She probably plotting on you from the jump. And then for them to put the fucking woof woof girl in this. Why the fuck? <laughs> Vanessa Bell Calloway is her name. Do she remember she was. It the ended first up one. being her si the old boy's sister. Yeah, that was a forced. Like we got. Like we don't need that. We didn't need McDowell's back in there. We didn't need Louis Anderson. Well, I think we kind of needed McDowell's. Not really though. It just it <laughs> seemed like uh, so niggas was they, trying to force. They shit spent back. more time in Zamunda this time, but I felt like we didn't get Zamunda. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it, like, it was just the palace. The so highlight of this movie was Tiana Taylor. Like low budget palace. Yeah, uh, I didn't like her either. She, was she, bad she, fuck. she came through representing for the on some African queen shit. Like I, yeah, I rocked with cool, it. Yeah, it was cool, but it was just. I like her voice too. Like yeah, just the way she cool. talks. We're just gonna she say like Iman Shepard is having fun. Nah, right? she don't. Yeah. She's having fun. Yeah, with that. Hmm? They were, you I don't fuck with Tiana. Yeah, they've been together for a long ass time. Though. I don't pay Who? attention to that kind Her of and, shit. Her uh, and Shepard. Oh yeah, it don't matter. Yeah, we don't give a fuck. I'm saying he's having fun with um, that definitely. I also didn't feel like Eddie was actually. He didn't tap back into this character either. I feel like Arsenio did a good job. I felt like he just put the accent on. He's like, okay, that's that's his role. But it wasn't a king. And his accent Arsenio was... Arsenio did a great job of connecting back with time. the character who the Arsenio's, character Arsenio's... Yeah, I feel like Arsenio did, did a better CGI job. Did a better used? job. That's a good... I they forgot deep, about that. They out here deep faking. That, that wasn't was crazy. crazy. Like the tiger. That was no, blind. No, 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 it, oh, they, when it went back in time, it's the deep faking. They've been deep faking. I didn't even. I didn't even peep it. They've been yeah, going crazy. Oh, you didn't peep it. I wasn't. Like, I wasn't looking hard enough. This doesn't look good at all. You gotta, it didn't look good. It was like Gemini Man. It's cheap. <laughs> it was fucked up. <laughs> it's the cheap. The deep yeah, fake. The is Gemini the Man yeah. was really bad at the end, bro. We can't be doing shit like that. It's These not ready. Got all that money, bro. Look the what they did. Paul Walker. Paul Walker shit. That was crazy. They, they got his shit right. They did. Cause you, I was up to they, trying to. They had out. to spend money back then. Now they got this, they, this deep fake. They, they said they spent fifty million for that two second clip that it showed. That's what they said. 
That's oh what they said. Oh, my God. It wasn't. You could tell, though. They like, ran I'm saying for Paul Walker. They spent, like, oh. $50 million for that 3-7 clip. They, they probably didn't uh, spend no money for the uh, for this one. They spent, one. like, $50 They, they probably went the cheap route with it. So How lame was the footage? It's getting I, a little two million dollar CGI. I don't that, even they, think they whatever. spent that kind of money on it. Fucking elephant look fake. The tiger. Uh, yeah, the, the fake. The I wanted to see real. more of Zamunda. We didn't see none of it. You know, they they showed us little Izzy spot, <coughs> General Izzy spot a little bit. They let oh, us. Yeah, they kind of let us know we was in Africa. Man, we just watched. Coming to America, one point two. This was like the most <laughs> low budgetest. They spent all their money on fucking guest appearances like why is Morgan Freeman in the end of the movie yeah fam. what's the reason it, 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 it really just and the way the nigga died the way his dad died Gerald, George Earl was it uh, James Earl, James Earl yeah. Jones what the fuck is it James, James Earl Jones. Jones yeah James Earl on, Jones bro, know I should know name. but I'm yeah, thinking of George Lucas I'm thinking all these niggas you know <laughs> it's fucking cause you know he's, he's Darth Vader but uh this nigga gonna die at his funeral <laughs> <laughs> like he Super did generic. his like Super uh, generic. it was not even a good he can't I, even act I think no that's more. a funny no, I think when they it. wrote that they probably thought like alright this is kind cause just even think about that now like that's <laughs> it's kind of a chuckle <laughs> this nigga died at his funeral but it was so this corny it was so cornily done that it was that's the way you're supposed to die if you're gonna die it was t- I never even thought about no shit like that just to do a funeral while you still here type shit and then die kind of a cool little thing but um I hated mostly everything about this whole movie. I mean, it's not too much good to say about it. Um, the story's weak. The acting's like weak. The, yeah, the sun should have been um, more nigga Something modified. thick and the shit stink. They didn't give a fuck. <laughs> I just, I, f- I don't like this shit because they tricking us. They keep tricking us with these movies. You niggas, I was watching a couple of their interviews I don't think and they're shit. tricking us, bro. I think we're tricking ourselves into thinking it's going to be what we Well, no, we and when I say us, be. I don't mean me because you niggas can't trick me because I know. But I'm saying the, the mass of the world who just is influenced by every fucking thing that goes on in their life, so whatever. But I just wish that they would be, I understand niggas who's got a big money and the niggas that made a lot of money, but it just seems like it's always one or the other. I think they lost a lot of money on this too. I, oh, they paid well, for the movie. They got. It, they bought it right out, right? For like hundred something million. And how much could the budget have been? It was less than 100 million. So they, you know. I, I think they only made like 30 million on the movie. 30, 40 mu- million. Eddie, Eddie don't give a fuck. He got money, so. I saw an interview with this nigga. It was literally like, I'm not, I don't, I'm not doing no more cash grabs. I only do great movies. <laughs> <laughs> only doing great movies from now on. This, but this nigga's not even a great actor or comedian anymore. So <laughs> it's just crazy. You know, it's funny how no one wants to even, like, nobody in the game wants to acknowledge this. He's butchering his fucking career with all these trash ass appearances. Yeah, it's it's taking. Uh, I thought Dolomite was cool. I thought Dolomite was decent, but I don't think Did that y'all he see was. Mr. Church. No. It actually was a decent movie. You got to check that one out. He need to just start doing. You know what Eddie need to start doing? I'll tell Let's you do. what, save his career right now. <clears throat> that niggas know. Porn. He need to start doing thriller, fucking suspense horror movies. This nigga need to stay. That shit already. As what? Like Brian Brooklyn? <laughs> no, that shit on Disney. <laughs> what? House of the House of Monster House. No, that no, he terrible. needs to do it for real. He needs to do like Robert De Niro. Can we see Eddie Murphy? What's that movie three? Robert De Niro did? Where he was? Cape Fear. Like he needs to do a Cape Fear. He needs to do a. Uh, Can we see Eddie Murphy in a Cape Fear movie? Like De Niro also movie? did one later where he Honestly, was like schizo so. and he had like a daughter. And like, mm, and, I didn't and see his, that his, one. his his sane side was trying to figure out who the fuck his daughter was talking to, and it was his. Oh, uh, I didn't see that one. Was that it was, good? That was a dope. Mm-hmm. Look it up. That's a dope. He movie. got a lot of bad movies he too. To, Eddie need to do movies like that. You need to just start acting serious. By the way, the Nero's did the same thing. He got some heat early in his career, and he just don't give a fuck towards the end. Ah, uh, De Niro. Just, just, he did a couple couple bad ones. No, no, for about 10, 15 years, twenty years maybe. He has bad after bad after bad. That's after not bad. be disrespectful. No, let's be honest. It's the same thing. Which ones? Are you well, in the about? beginning of his career, he was going crazy. Everything was fire. Him and Scorsese was doing everything together. In the yeah. beginning, right? The last twenty years, what is the great movies that he Go has? Go to his uh, I'm trying to ah, real slow. That's yeah. arguable. That's he, just he funny. Did, as fuck, he he did a com- comedy roles. He started. He see. He got. He got versatile on you niggas. The neighbors, the grandpa shit. I mean, it's a bunch of terrible shit he's doing. Uh, I didn't even see that de- boom, deer boom. hunter shit. Uh, <laughs> Look up the last. T- 20 years of movies for him right quick uh he did saturday night irishman uh, i like 
Um, Irish man, I, I told you. You didn't you know, like, you didn't like that one. Yeah, shit is fake, but it's cool. hey, you're not in the right spot, Matt, bro. You got to get better at this shit. I'm pretty grim. I can't read it from here, bro. You got to go up. Go up. Go up. <coughs> what do you mean? Go to... Go to just get out of here. Go to Man, Google. Man, you gotta get your shit together, fam. Go to Google. Go up. Just go up a little bit. Go up a little bit. Go to the. Get out of here. Go back. <laughs> go Let's back. just type in Robert De Niro movies. Go down. All you got to do is go down, and you could go to his IMDb or go back I up. I was literally just on his IMDb. Go back up. No, my bad. Go back this up. This shit is easy up here when they just pull up the. Uh, you should just put in Robert De Niro movies. Really? Yeah, you put in I, I put IMDb. IMDb. Just take IMDb out. Just take. Oh. Yeah, you shouldn't even put movies in there, but. Because then it pulls up the drop box to the right. You can just pull up all the movies. Right yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, click on that shit. He, the Family was a good movie. The Casino Family was not good. Was, the nigga. Family was a solid Come little on, movie. Man. It was a solid good. little small Stop movie. It was, it was solid. It was, a, it was watchable. It go was go back up, up bro. Is that so all you can look at? There, all yeah. right, take movies off of there. It's well, not take IMDb out, out of there. I, didn't, I took IMDb out of there. Uh, all right, now go down. Yo, be the right same there. Ones, though, bro. Now oh, keep going. Okay. So look. Dirty Grandpa, all this shit, the intern. She was Dirty, uh, the comedian, nigga. That shit was garbage. Comedian was funny, bro. It wasn't fucking funny. Come on, man. You niggas is playing. Let's be honest, man. Some of these movies I didn't even see. Grudge Match was fucking dreadful. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I didn't even see that movie. <laughs> I mean, it had fun. Yeah, I Kevin guess a, a lot of those movies I didn't even end up seeing. Oh, Some you gotta go funny watch moments them. Him and Al Pacino. Whoa. Well, he had a movie with Al Pacino and Fifty Cent that was like, whoa. Keep going was, back. Keep going back. I'm, no, that's where, that's where. Yeah, that way. I'm trying to see what that movie was. Keep going. Silver uh, Linings was that all right. Silver uh, Linings, he did a good job in that. This was not good. With he was in. There. I mean, it's just cool. a movie. It was a good movie. I think he had a whatever role in it. Keep going. Yeah, his small role in, in the Joker going. was cool. Yeah, that was a good one. Keep going. Um, oh, oh, actually, go back. I didn't fuck with the analyze this, analyze that. Hide and shit. seek is the movie I was talking about. It was cool. Click on that. I don't remember. Hide and seek was trash. No, it's not. Might be. Ain't that with him and that little girl? <laughs> yeah, and he was he and ended he was up, a psychiatrist or something. He, he was a psych. I think he was a psychiatrist, but yeah. he happened ended up being <clears throat> schizophrenic himself. It was. Uh, <laughs> That's a good movie, but we're, okay. we're getting okay. off into a new movie. But basically, my point is that the actors they 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 hungrier, and then you can when they start getting rich, you yeah. see what happens. Get into Eddie like me. Uh, Dave. Marlon Brando yeah. did it. Uh, Al Pacino did it. I mean, well, they just Will ain't they doing don't give it. a fuck. Yeah, like, I'm like, more interested. No, Will is not doing it. He's consistent. Um, yeah. Denzel definitely ain't doing it. Mm, all right, what do we rate this movie? Uh, I have it trash uh, all around the board. <laughs> it's a decent movie. It was, it was a good attempt. Two. It wasn't Yeah, a good you give it a two? I gave it a one. What you give it? As a comedy, I gave it a three. As a, mo as a no, movie? No, no, no. Just as a movie. I'm saying if I didn't no, that's what I'm saying. If I didn't know it was supposed to be a comedy or if there wasn't a coming Just to America one, movie. I'd give it a four or I five. Never watched this. Which again. one do you give it? I'm giving it a three. <coughs> you're doing too much with that though. You I, just, yeah, you gotta just give us the number. So we got one, two, three. I'm gonna give it a I would never watch this shit again. I'm gonna give nah. it a three. Just because my expectations were high. So But it shitted on your expectations. It did. So overall, we doing the math because you know I'm not good at math. It's like a two point two five or something like that. Two point six. This nigga Matt be knowing it's yeah, two point two five. This is a never watch ever again. <laughs> so two point two sure. five we get. This is probably one of the lowest rated movies it we is get. I think that might be the lowest. Yeah. They didn't uh, give a fuck, so fuck so that's all I got to say Which about that. crazy, because that Griselda movie, too, and that was pretty fucking bad. This, the Griselda movie might have been better. <laughs> <laughs> the Griselda movie might have been better it's than this shit. Up, What's the name of that movie again? Uh, Conflicted. The Conflicted. Yeah, Conflicted. Yeah, funny as hell. Damn. I'm going to have to go. I didn't even watch it, so I got to go back. And I don't movie. know, man. I might like that one better than the Griselda movie. To be <laughs> it's a conversation. <laughs> Eddie's they have looking, a lot of consistency. Eddie's He's looking bad, bad out here right now. I think I gave him both stories. Yeah. yeah, Eddie needs to get his shit together. Yeah, he got our, our senior all out, out funny in the nigga in his own movies yeah, and shit. Yeah, I mean, he really was. So, yeah. anyways, that's all I got to say about that. Uh, any Anything else? Otherwise, I'll let you niggas go. That's it. Fuck ass movies. Fuck these movies. <laughs> all of them <laughs> these bitch ass movies. It was a bad week for real. It was a bad week that's for real. That's why I be reviews. stealing y'all shit. I don't pay for none of this shit. Look at you. Nah, 
They gonna come get me. Yeah, yeah come get it, nigga. Come do what you gotta do. Fuck you, niggas. You putting out weak ass quality <laughs> movies. Oh. You niggas is hoes, man. That's some hoe ass shit. <laughs> y'all niggas want me to spend my money on, on y'all poor quality movies that y'all know is weak. You know they're weak. If they just, don't make them like they used to, that's for sure. I'm saying, yeah. how could you sit there and, and, and analyze the movie that you made? Like, watch it and then not know it's garbage. I feel like the, the 90s. I think, but they know this shit's garbage. I ain't gonna lie. The standards, I don't think it matters. The standards what are you gonna changed. do at that point? The you know standards. Saying, like, what you mean? You're Eddie Griffin, or Eddie, yeah, Eddie Murphy. Griffin. You got all this legendary shit you did. You know what niggas want to see. But it's weird, though, because yeah. some people are saying they love this movie, though. But I think everybody who's saying that is saying that just because the Gladys Knight and the fucking everybody was back, it had nothing to do with nothing else. It's I don't just believe. a nostalgic thing. It's the yeah, it's just like, it's a certain group of black people. They just hitting all the back, like, oh, we got Gladys. Ooh, it is we a group of those twins. people who just say it was good because Gladys Knight and SWV and Morgan Freeman and fucking. I'm gonna have to ask my dad you know what he saying? thought of it because he loved coming to America too. I was watching this with him. I actually watched it with him, and I'm sitting here like, man, this kind of this sucks for him. Like, he, he didn't really say nothing. He, he laughed a few times when I didn't laugh, so he probably liked it more than I did. But shit was some of the shit was cringe worthy. Some of these cringe worthy. I'm talking about <laughs> he's not binge worthy. He loved the first worthy. one, so I want to know what he yeah. feels about it. To be honest, to see if it's if that if that shit is what it is. It's tough. You put a 2020 to movie, 2021 movie up against an. It was the first one came out in '89. Yeah, some they, by the way, they, they took their time with them '90s <laughs> movies. Was that's probably the best string of movies yeah. was in the '90s. They took their time. They built stories everything was just th the writers directors yeah. was on point back then what did y'all think about the fucking uh, Dumb and Dumber sequel though which the one? newest one remember they came out with just they just came out with one more they had a prequel Dumb and Dumber. they came out with the prequel Dumb and Dumber. oh I forgot the about that the prequel was yeah. funny I, I don't count that one I the prequel the, was kind of funny Dumb and Dumber. but I was a kid so. did you like the Dumb and Dumber the second uh, one or the second third one isn't there four isn't there four now the second one was kind of funny but there was some funny shit in there I think well the one where they brought back Jim Carrey and, and, Dan, and uh, the nigga that's the newest one right there I was, only count that it was a bad movie. One. It definitely wasn't touching the first one. It wasn't a bad movie, it but it, it was nowhere one near the first one. No, the first one. It, it had some, some funny, funny jokes. It had there. some funny jokes. Like the nigga was sitting there uh, playing a joke on uh, oh, what was he? He was in a wheelchair. He's like, you've been pretending this whole time. Oh, He's like, yeah. gotcha. <laughs> he pulled out the catheter and shit. That was funny. <laughs> man. All they had to do was have a decent funny. If they could have just gave us something funny, we could have had a different. It, you couldn't even do that. <laughs> even yeah, if the storyline is weak even if it's stupid just make it funny so we can laugh and we can have a different it, conversation the movie felt so small to me too like and maybe that's because of the pandemic or whatever but I think they shot this Before. they shot this in 2019 yeah they did yeah. So, but it felt so small like I mean, when there was, was like in New three York, locations when yeah. it was in New York you definitely could tell they wasn't in New York I mean, they, you know what I mean they barely oh, yeah. showed it you, when it was in Zamunda, it definitely looked like okay, we on we on we somewhere in one of these little Hollywood. Rick Ross you know house. what I'm saying? You know, one of the little <laughs> Rick Ross fake house. sets. CGI in the background. You know what I'm you saying? You know they used Rick Ross crib for the movie, right? You didn't know that. Was it actually his house? Yeah, they used his crib in Atlanta to film the movie. So that's where it was. It was in Atlanta. Are you for real? Yeah, that's a fact. Didn't he have a line like in one of his songs like? Something watching, watching Eddie. He watch, did, and uh, I forgot. Watching what song coming to America. Yeah. He said he, that it wouldn't they, he, they said he rented it out for a couple of million. A couple of milli. It's a good And he got a little cameo in it. And he got a cameo. It's I mean, fucking it's pretty cool. Whack ass African speaking fake accent. Whack ass <laughs> fucking wings. <laughs> that, that was actually one of the few lines I laughed at as Rick Ross Little. Because it was just <laughs> Cause funny because he was struggling. It was stupid. Yeah. It was struggling. But he was almost trying to be funny the way he said this scene. I, I laughed at that. But that's a damn shame. That was the few. I had like five moments in the whole movie that I. Snickered at. <laughs> I fell, fell asleep on that like, shit. I made it tough, but that's all we got for y'all on the movies, man. Y'all got anything else to say? Otherwise, I'm done with this shit. Fuck y'all niggas. Uh, anyways, I'm Shinobi. These guys are the Temptations. These are the pros. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Taurus, Matt, the problem. Moan. Corn. You thinking what I'm thinking? Aim for the bushes, nigga. We out of here. Cornbread. That's you, nigga. I'm Eddie Kendricks, for sure. Yeah, he's the corny nigga. Yeah. The cornbread. One having all the throat problems, huh? <laughs> 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 Your lungs is